whatever. <laughs> That's the key. People have to work, Chelsea, you know, like, yeah. That's the thing, too. It's like, you got to fly, you got to fly, and it's not like you're really saving time. Well, you're not. Everyone has their own personal agenda. Yeah, like exactly. That's my issue yeah. with the thing. I get it. But, like, I'm sure it's relevant at 2 p.m. on Friday. Yeah, totally. Hey, buddy. Really good, really good. Nice to see you. <laughs> it's early. <laughs> no, I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. I know. I know. <laughs> no, it's awesome. Yeah, you get what you pay for. It's like, oh, I only had to pay a hundred bucks a game or whatever. Great. I mean, you won money, but you know what I mean. You want to get as many games as you can, who cares? Give it up. Yeah. Huge, yeah, huge. Especially with the rankings, it's so weird right now. Like, yeah. Yeah, totally. Totally. Yeah, like. Good, how are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty chill, yeah. Yeah, laid low. Epping Clyder, yeah. Epping Clyder is how, yeah, is how we're starting. Uh, yeah, if you need any info, I've got, I've got a, f you know, some stuff. I usually take notes for both teams, so Clyder's easy because they've been playing together for like nine years, so they literally have the same resumes. <laughs> Every other team, you gotta like divide it up by player. Like oh these yeah. guys are so fucking annoying. <laughs> oh, Reed did this and this and this, and then Derek did. <laughs> well, no, you matter, Connor. You matter. You're Selena's husband. That matters. <laughs> yeah. That's all I have down for Connor. That's it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we're 
just doing whatever's in her mind. Okay. But we're but we're moving games, so like it'll always be like close to the best game on launch. Or are we moving games to the cloud? Correct. Yeah. Yeah, that's why like if you look at the bracket, there's no sheets for any of the games because we're just correct. And sheet two is the other streaming sheet, so it'll be kind of you know be going around there. But sheet two is just uh, the Okotoks okay. curling club is doing their own stream. Think they're called the Curling Club. I think it's something like that. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so basically. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay, sweet. Nice. Yeah, so we. Uh, yeah, so it'll be whatever's on five. We're doing Botcher at five range at four. And then I don't know what we're doing at 7 30. It'll be another A quarter. Like, it'll be whoever comes out with these. Like, it'd probably be these guys if they win. Oh, okay. It'd probably be whoever they're playing. We play the winner in this game, though. Oh, okay, so it won't uh, be them. Yeah, back, same team. Yeah, that's what happened with Dunstone, too. Hello, everybody, and welcome inside the Okotoks Curling Club here in Okotoks, Alberta. It is the first draw, well, the second draw, but the first draw for these two teams. Team John Epping out of the Leaside Curling Club against Team Kleider out of the Nutana Curling Club as we watch Ryland Kleider draw to the pin. So they will start the game with Hammer and the Red Rocks. John Cullen with you here for another season on Curling Live, and I am thrilled to be joined by two-time Scotty's champion, Chelsea Carey. Hi, Chelsea. How's it going? Oh, I'm great. That's I'm great. Good. How are you? Yeah, you can't complain. Yeah? I mean, you could. I, I guess I could. Yeah, yeah, I won't, though. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> we'll see. This is only game one for us, so probably... That's true. I might be complaining later. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. Three games a day for the next four days. You know, you'll you'll feel it. You'll be complaining about something by Sunday, is my guess. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> we won't be complaining about this game, though. I think this is going to be... a. Uh, a great opening game between Epping and Kleider. They're fairly well matched. Epping currently ranked number 16 in the world. Kleider ranked number 44, uh, but coming off the best of the West win to end last season and a new squad for John Epping. So I'm thinking, Chelsea, this is going to be a, a good game, but maybe a bit of a cagey game as well as these two teams kind of get their feet under them to start the season. 
Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me either. I think I agree with you. Collider is a great young up-and-coming team, but they're still trying to kind of break into the scene um, in men's curling here. And for Team Epping has had a like probably a little bit of a slow start, but it's always hard with a new team, right? So uh, reserving judgment on that, and I'm sure they are as well. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, I think it's probably going to be a little bit conservative to start, but you never know with John Epping either, so we'll see. Yeah, he usually likes to get rocks in play, that John. Uh, but yeah, you alluded to the fact a, a bit of a slow start. They've actually had a busy start to the season. This is their fourth event, which, uh, you know, we don't usually say about teams in the middle of September, but uh, they started out with the uh, the season opener in Leduc. They missed the playoffs there. And then they also went to Martinsville where they missed the playoffs. But I was talking to John before the event and he said it felt like they finally kind of came together to a little bit more with. last week in the Leduc major. They, they made the playoffs there. They lost to Yannick Schwaller in the semifinals who ended up winning the tournament. So I think for Epping, they feel like you know it's it is starting to come together for for their new squad yeah I think you saw that last weekend you there was it was a little bit more cohesive um they seem to be kind of on the same page and getting into a bit of a groove and that's always the thing with a new team interestingly enough this is sort of a new team but sort of pieces of old teams in in a few cases here for John Epping so um I don't think it'll take them long to kind of get it figured out and I think we started to see that last weekend yeah, absolutely. Uh, so yeah, the, we'll we'll meet the team. John Epping, as I said, from the Lee Side Curling Club in Toronto, Ontario. Skip is John Epping. Third, Matt Cam. Second is Pat Jansen, and lead is Scott Chadwick. And further to your point, Chelsea Scott, the only member of this team who hasn't played with John before. Of course, Matt Cam has been on John's team for the last number of years, and Pat was on his team as well back uh, in the mid in the mid tens. Uh, Pat Jansen was on the team. Then he he left the team. He was. The super fifth for Brendan Botcher played in the Briar last year, and now he's back with John. So, as you said, there is at least some famili familiarity there, which I, I would imagine helps. I mean, you're a skip. You've put together a lot of new teams. You know, what are some things that when you start with a new team in a new season, a new quad, what are some things that you're trying to do early to sort of build that, that team dynamic? Yeah, you, you need to kind of figure it out and like for it de definitely does make it easier for John because he knows obviously Pat and Matt so well that uh, that decreases your learning curve a little bit but it's it's a lot about team dynamics and about kind of who's who plays which role who's your cheerleader who's your person that talks to the skip and the hack who's the uh, who's the honest one who's who kind of does the pick me ups so if things aren't going well there's just all kinds of little intricacies that take some time together to get figured out uh, in addition to the, the obvious things like sweeping like throwing and, and tendencies with an intern versus an outturn in a certain spot or those kinds of things so definitely some team dynamics work to do in general but for this team I think that they probably have a little bit of a leg up in that sense just because um, of the bad. history between Pat and Good John thing. and Matt and John. So as you as you said earlier, not a, a, a huge surprise here to see rocks in play. Rylan Kleider electing to throw the corner guard, and so now we have seen some rocks come into the house. Matthew Ty on the lead for Rylan Kleider, just clicking that center guard. So I think there will be some room here for Pat Jansen to get at that shot stone. Yes! Hack! Yes! Whoa! Hack! Yep! Whoa! Yep! Yep! Hard! Hard, Matt. Hard, Matt. Hard, Matt. Go, 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 go! Yeah, nice shot there shot. from Pat Jansen. Rolls perfectly behind the corner guard. And we get our first look here at second Trevor Johnson. As we said, this is Team Clyder out of the Nutana Curling Club in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Skip is Rylan Clyder. Third is Joshua Mattern. Second is Trevor Johnson. And lead is Matthew Tyon. And we were talking before the game, Chelsea. You want to talk about team chemistry. This is a team that has actually been together since 2014. So this is their ninth, or sorry, eighth year together. So they're an easy team to make notes for because they've all won the exact same things and lost the exact same things. So I appreciate that as a commentator. I'm sure all they're trying to do is make your job easy. And you know what? I wish more teams would, honestly. <laughs> yeah, the rest a lot of, of selfish teams. Yeah, a lot, well, you especially. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Writing notes for you, it's like a Bible at this point. And very nice shot there from uh, Trevor Johnson. Yeah, both Good teams on, making those hit, that 15 here. hit and rolls look easy. Hit, hitting and rolling is an underratedly hard shot. 
in curling. It's, you know, people talk about, well, I don't want to leave them in the role. Well, yeah, you probably do because they don't actually get made that often. But evidence to the contrary here in this first end, both teams making it look really easy. Hard line. Hard. So Pat Jansen Hard just going to try to freeze Scott. down to this one. Wayne's good. Keep going. Get a big bounce, Scott. Big bounce. Hey, Pat. And just maybe a little light there from Pat Jansen, I think. Looks like it, yeah. Started to curl on them a little bit early, which is usually a pretty good indicator. Typically, the conditions here at the Okotoks Curling Club are outstanding. It's, uh, it's as close to arena ice as you often will see in curling clubs. So. Um, if you're a little bit light, then it'll start to take off on you early and the weight doesn't appear to be that far off, but the line gets messed up pretty quick if the weight's not matched to it. So a little bit uh, underthrown there from Pat, I think. Lines it, lines yeah, we it. heard them say that they were looking for 15 tight. for draw. Yep. Yep. In practice, it started at about 14 and was up to about 14.75 for the draw to the pin. So the team's just assuming that it's maybe quickened up even a little bit more. I had a 15 one on Rylands to the button there, and they didn't. They weren't sweeping it like crazy either. But they've also thrown 100 rocks in that spot by the time he goes to throw that last one. So probably nowhere else on the sheet, quite as fast as that to start. But uh, really nice speed here early. And a nice shot from Trevor Johnson. So it's Ryland Kleider sitting two with the hammer. Looks like clean up time from Matt Cam here. Yep. Yep. Whoa, whoa! The shot. He won't get either of the reds, but he does get rid of both of the yellows out front. So a little bit more of a appetizing situation for Team Epping, but Team kleider has got to feel pretty good about this setup with Hammer, Chelsea. For sure. For Team Epping there, would have loved to get one of the ones in the house, but, but the most Flying important benches. part was getting Great. both those guards because Benches. that's a pretty makeable double on those two reds right now. Uh, that being said, for Team Clyder, going to try to bury around this corner guard. You're, you're probably not getting three out of this unless you get some major misses out of Team Epping, but it's looking like potentially a deuce right now. Okay. Line's good. Okay, we got room. Top eight only. Not curling yet. Okay, we might have to. Uh. Okay, just, just try to leave it high, I think. Uh, hammer it, Maddie. We're gonna set up a triple. The, uh, there is no way to not set it up. So you heard that there from Ryland Kleider. Does look like the triple's there for Matt Cam. Seemed like Chelsea maybe, uh, Josh thought it was gonna be a little slower over center. You were talking about how the draw to the pin, you have all those rocks in the same path. They hadn't really thrown any draws down the middle. And so I wonder if he just thought it was going to be a little slower than it ended up being. Yeah, that's for sure possible. You, you know, you talked about practice starting around 14 seconds. So from 14 to 15 is a good six feet difference. So if you're in a new spot, you have to think it might be a little bit slower. But it didn't look like it ran that way. So they kind of got caught right in between. If you take that a little bit deeper or if it stops a little bit shorter, it's pretty good. But as it stands... Sets up the triple for Matt Cam, makes no mistake. The only good news here for Team Clyder is they still have those corner guards. So you'll see him throw, see them throw the exact same path they just threw, and they should understand the speed pretty well now. Line's good. Okay, you can go if you need to. Line's good. It's all you. Top eight. Line's perfect. It's Line's all you. Good. It's all you. Line's perfect. All you. Line's 15, real good, nine. guys. If you can switch. Hard, Maddie. You gotta go. Hard, you gotta hard, go. Hard, you gotta hard, go. Hard, 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 hard. Okay. Plus. I don't think this is fully buried here, Chels. Uh, no, we're right behind the sheet. It looks like you can see 
Maybe a thin half, but certainly more than enough. We saw them play this path early on a completely buried rock, and they made the hit and roll look pretty easy. So they'll know this spot pretty well. You have to like John's chances here. I just got straight light on the time. I didn't. Th I thought it like that speed should run okay here. Yeah. So first stone in the first end here for John Epping without the hammer. Looking to finesse this around a guard. Clean. Remove the shot stone. Yep, yep. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Scott. Scott. Out of go, Scott. This oh. needs to curl. And it will not. So not only does he not make it, but he actually buries it even further for Team Kleider. Classic and commentator's you curse on that one. Yeah, I'll exactly. Full responsibility there. <laughs> Sorry, as John. you should, as you should. <laughs> they they looked they liked it early too. It just they thought it was going to finish harder than that, and we've seen kind of everything curl there, and that one just kind of took its time a little bit more. So not sure if it's just maybe getting straighter with a few rocks down that path, or you know maybe keep an eye on John's first rock as well. But uh, either way, really good situation here now for Ryland Kleider. Yeah, especially for John, too. He tends to throw a bit of a softer release. He usually gets more curl than his teammates, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure they were a little surprised. why they liked it early. His yeah. intern, you know, he and, and he's great at reading it and, and at icing himself for it, and they just kept thinking that was going to finish, and it didn't. So surprising it's there for sure. 50-55, okay. So a little more than draw to the pin, hey? Okay. All right, boys, let's make it. So Ryland Kleider, big opportunity here in the first end with Hammer. He's already sitting one and looking to stuff the turkey, as we say, put another one behind those there. two corner guards. Line's good, line's good. Line's All you right good. now. Go to curl, go to curl. Line's good, just top four. Where? Top four. Okay. Pull. Oh. Just leave, if we're top four, leave it. If we're, if we're back, Can't be we're heavy. Go. Yeah, go, 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 go. Right to the back 12, hard Trev. Trev hard, 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 hard. Okay. 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 So maybe a chance here now, Chelsea, for John Epping to get himself out of this this jam. Huge chance, and, and the bad news there for Clyder and the good news for John is he doesn't even have to make a perfect freeze. The way these are sitting, he just has to be kind of anywhere in there for shot rock and buried. So some room yeah. here for John to make this. Um, it looks like it's maybe getting a little straighter and faster in that spot with every rock because, again, out of Ryland's hand, they, they thought it was maybe all there, but they didn't seem to think it was back eight. So a little bit fooled for both teams right now in this particular spot, but we've played probably four or five rocks in a row here now, so that is what tends to happen. So final stone here for John Epping in the first, and it's a crucial one facing two Ryland Kleider counters. Back eight, boys. And out of the hand, the sweepers Line's think it's good. maybe a little heavy. Oh, sorry, that Try was Matt saying bit. back eight. Line's Never good. mind, sweepers on it Line's early. Good. Back eight. Where are you? Hard pit. Carve it now. Curl. Carve it. Carve it. They Carve gotta it. get Carve this it. around that corner guard. And I'm not sure that that buried enough. I think this is there. The chase is there. It's tough to not jam it on that back red, but it's definitely possible. Just got out into a little wider path there. The sweepers, again, didn't seem terribly worried about it early, and it just didn't run quite as nice as the tighter path that they'd been playing. So just, just kind of struggling with that, which is typical in a first end. The different paths are going to be different running until pretty you straight throw here, hey? kind of some rocks in every in every spot, and that certainly hasn't been the case just yet. You were good so tricky too. shot here for Ryland, but I think it is there for three. Yeah. I just want half. Yeah. Okay, good so Should be good speed here, similar to the draw. Hack weight takeout here. All right, boys, Ryland Kleider with the chance to put a nice three hack. on the board. Final stone in the first end. Green. Yep, 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 yep. Really hard. Hard, Matt. Hard. Matthew Tyon trying to hold hard. this, but that was just tight Fuck right me. out of Kleider's hand. And shoot. Epping yep. pulls a steal out of the fire there. They'll put one on the board. Kleider will keep the hammer. And we'll be right back.
Good end I think it's great to be partnered with another Alberta-based company who shares a lot of the same values and beliefs as us. Our team's looking to represent not only Alberta, but, but Canada. And I think just the privilege of being able to wear the, the red and white and put on that maple leaf is definitely what we're chasing. And hopefully that for us means a couple of world championships and culminating in the, in the 26 Olympics in Italy. I think you need to be active and engaged in your community. You need to be a positive model for all the kids coming up, you know, playing whatever sport they're competitive in. And, and I think all of us on this team are really striving to be, you know, not only good, good teammates to each other on the ice, but hopefully also real good ambassadors for curling and sport as a whole off the ice. They have a great um, family there and a great team. Um, a lot of the same qualities that we have, um, just uh, teamwork, um, working hard to get the job done and uh, helping out each other along the way. So I think that um, as we continue to work with ATB over the next four years, um, you're going to see a lot of those qualities come through in our curling team. Uh, the people at ATB have been great to me. I've met a whole whack of them over the last nine seasons. Great people, they do a ton of stuff in the communities. They brought me into a lot of local communities as well where I've got to meet even some of their clients and brand representatives. We feel very fortunate to be partnered with a company that gives so much to Alberta and small town Alberta, being born and raised um, here in this wonderful province and being partnered with a brand like them means the world to me. Being able to be involved with a company that gives so much to the grassroots um, even during the COVID years, they created two World Curling Tour events that we could play in. Uh, and just seeing their passion to give back to this wonderful province is, is one of the reasons we feel so fortunate to be partnered with them. Opening draw action between John Epping and Rylan Kleider and Chelsea. Uh, I think if you're John Epping, you you know you probably mopped a bit of the sweat off your brow after uh, that last end. It was looking like Kleider was going to put a multiple on the board for most of the end. Yeah, that's where I'd be going to my team and saying, "Start the car." <laughs> that was Trying. a huge yeah, break for really John Epping. And, and if he'd made his last shot, Still then he would have been set up for a steal or a force for sure. But it didn't curl enough for him, so it did leave an opportunity for Rylan. And I'm not sure if he. Maybe just hey guys, do here again, or, and or helped it a little bit because okay, they they said clean out of his hand and then immediately hard and then it, it wasn't really very close. It curled really early on them, so huge break for Team Epping, but for Team Clyder, one down with the hammer. You can't let that bother you. You're still not in a bad spot. It can be hard to park something like that because it's such a big opportunity against such a great team. But we'll see how they handle it here. We've got some rocks in play early. Not surprisingly, Team Clyder going to try to set Rich up their good. two good here on. in an even end. Room, room, toppy. Room. Yeah, you got to think at this point, Lots of room I right mean, now. it's only the second Just end, Josh, but if, if you're you Team can, Clyder, are Josh, you thinking you that it's you go you can, the more subdued pants? You you that, I did that, wonder about that. Yeah, you know? Is that sort of the, <laughs> is that the curse? They don't have the mojo anymore without I know. those crazy pants. Yeah, Good and they're, they're mismatching. we got Josh and Matt in gray pants. We've got Trevor and Rylan in black pants, but we're used to seeing them in insane pants yeah they were they were uh the new team olsrud for years there with those loudmouth pants so i was surprised when i saw the the uh plain old neutral ones this year yeah they're gonna i bet i bet if that you know yeah. it might be like if they get on a bit of a losing skid they think to themselves you know what maybe we gotta it's gotta be the pants we gotta spice this up gotta, we gotta bring get, them back yeah exactly <laughs> up close back eight. yeah back eight back 12 Back eight. Back 12. Back 12. Oh, we're coming. Back 12. Back 12 plus. Almost through, John. Okay. So it looks like the ice has maybe good, quickened up a bit again here, Chelsea, as we've seen the first three attempts into the house all heavy. Yeah, again, probably getting a little yeah. faster with every yeah, well, one there. We also saw Pat come up a little bit light on a, on a, a tap-back attempt in the last oh. end, so maybe just yeah. a little bit overcompensating. But most of the way down the sheet, they were saying that was back eight, and it ended up being at least back 12. At one point, you heard Matt Cam say, oh, boy, we're humming here, because it was just sliding a little better than they expected. So 
again, with the number of rocks in the same path, we are seeing a difference in the speed sort of picks up. So you think you only have to take off two feet from your last shot, but you probably have to take off four. We also haven't seen you sweep anything. So typically in a path this fast, the sweepers can drag it really well at the end. So you want to bring them into play here if you're the thrower. 15-0. Okay, just let it sit. Sit down. Well, it looks like Trevor Johnson got the memo as he puts it ahead of the tee line. Nice spot there, but it is still Epping sitting one without hammer. I don't think he could have been shot and buried there for Ryland Kleider, so he's not terribly worried right now about that rock back four foot. He'll deal with that later, just trying to set up a uh, multiple point score by getting one top tee line and buried behind that corner guard, which he did. So we'll see uh, for really Pat close. Jansen. This is a pretty precise shot, but he did just throw it. So really close. T -line. trying to sit two top here four, is the biggest four. goal. Like it's hot. T line. Back four. Back eight. I still got T. Yep. T. Yep. Yep. T plus. Yep. Stay on it. Stay on it. Yeah. Good call, John. So that's not a bad spot there. A little heavy from Pat Jansen. He would have liked to be on the corner of that red one, but where they ended up, not terrible either. Really good audible by John there. What you don't want to do is just tick that sh that second shot stone and roll into the open and leave a potential hit and roll underneath for Ryland Clyder. So with the, the right information coming from the sweepers there, John making the call to get by that top rock and, and freeze on the back one. So... Um, you know, it's, it's one thing to throw the right weight and, and to do everything perfectly, but that's not always going to be the good. case. So it's, all, it's about making the best out of what you clean. have at some point. And John Epping, um, case in point yep. right there, making a really good line yep. call based on the fact that it was a little bit heavy. Whoa. That's what a lot of people have said about me. I've made the best out of what I have. <laughs> I'm not sure if that's a compliment or not. In your no, it's case, not. <laughs> it's not. Hard, no, it's not. Hard. Hard. <laughs> So Trevor Johnson just a little heavier than his last okay. one, and really I don't know three. if that's really the spot they wanted to end up in, but it's quite a cluster we've got here in the back corner of the house. Yeah, I don't think it is just because they actually ticked their, what was third shot stone out of there, which isn't going to be helpful to them and rolled into the open. So I think I heard them say the weight was good. So I guess what they were trying to do is come to that epping stone and I unlock that now. freeze, yeah. tap that Same back red one back a little bit so that they could maybe remove it later. So if, if they're saying weight was close, then it just overcurled on them a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Scott Chadwick Hard. on this right out of the hand. The weight appears Hard. to be there, so it looks like they're trying to hold it for line. You gotta go. And it just over curls a little bit. So maybe an opportunity now here, Chelsea, for Ryland Kleider to do something with that mess over there. Yeah, they initially looked at making a play on the red. The problem is that all your rocks then are going to be behind the tee line. So they've switched this, and I think this is the right call, to just a straight draw buried. You'll be first and third shot likely, but you can always remove that red later. You don't need to do it just yet, because if you do that and you make it well, you're just going to see... Um, team Epping draw to the ocean over there with, with uh, just a huge wall of rocks behind the tee line. Line's good. Okay, you got room. Like There's got to be tee line. So Josh Line's Mattern room, looking room, to wait only. splash this red well, on the well, ocean like of yellows, right as my partner Chelsea. Oh, it's really heavy. So adequately described the wall. Okay, line's close. We can't, can't bounce yet. Can't bounce yet. Can't bounce, can't bounce, can't bounce. This is the one thing you don't want to do. That's all right, Jay. That's good shot. not terrible, I don't think. It's not terrible. It's not great, but it's, uh, again, just a tiny bit heavy there. They seem to be, it looks like there's a spot where if it gets off the center line early, it'll curl on you. They've overcurled a couple. <laughs> and if it rides on the so center line for there. a bit, it'll go a little straighter until it, until it kind of crosses that line. So... Um, a little bit I have of a tricky spot based on it in a hair of air. what we've seen, but not a terrible result considering that that was a little bit heavy. I think it ended up in an okay spot. Lose that one. What if you just hammer it? Oh, if it goes. Sure. It's just getting scary because we're getting high. Higher and higher. Or you just do this. 
Whatever you see, John. Tamara. You like this call, Chelsea? It's hard to tell from here if it'll go. John seems yeah. to think that it might. That was my thought, too. You hammer this, it could end up not so great for you. You're probably going to kill the back one always, so yeah. not the worst. But, yeah, if they don't go, <laughs> then they probably Whoa. will regret this call. Yeah, good shot, Matt. Really good. Yeah, you could tell from John's voice. He knows that that was not Matt's fault. He hit it exactly where John wanted to, but unfortunately it rolled the red right into the Eleven. forefoot for shot. Okay. The good news is it's yep. wide open, so they could always kill that later. Could have worked out worse, but yeah, not uh, not ideal for team effing there. And certainly not for lack of weight thrown by Matt Cam either. No, Matt can hum those down there. So Josh Mattern will just whoa, look whoa, to whoa. remove this whoa. yellow. Whoa. Clean, whoa. clean, clean. Whoa, whoa, clean. Yep, whoa, 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 whoa. Curl, 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 curl. Nice shot, Jay. It's really good. Good sweep. Nice shot. Actually worked out really well with bouncing that yellow sort of more behind that red, meaning that if you were to remove this for John Epping, you can no longer hit it on nice the shot, nose. Dude. You have to hit it a little bit yeah. on the high yeah. side. To not jam it on that yellow, so pretty good result there. Good weight too. Okay. Nice. Yeah, nice throw from Josh Mattern. Good call from Ryland Kleider, and all of a sudden, Kleider wielding the advantage with the hammer Control. here. Control, get it. Don't, I don't well, think you're gonna. You're well, in a plant. Sure yeah, the roll is the big one. Yeah, because if I if I don't if I don't roll, he's gonna make the trip. Right? So I gotta roll. You gotta roll. Yeah. Whatever weight you're seeing, Control. Control's Control. gonna probably keep yeah. this right around, but yeah, we'll make the roll. Like that? Paralyze. Yeah, I'm yeah. seeing here. Control, make that hit the roll. Yeah. So John Epping looking to play control here. Squeeze that Kleider shooter through the hole. No! Whoa! 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 Scott! Scott Chadwick Scott, picking this going. up early. Keep going, Scott! Keep going, keep going, keep going! Need to bring it over. Sit. Hey, John. And Epping will get it through the hole, but sitting all three of his rocks behind the T line here. And I think Kleider shot based on our overhead camera here, Chelsea. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. it's close, but it does. If I were to guess based on that, I would say Kleider shot. Hit and roll, right? I think that's the call, though. Hit and roll might give us a chance for multiple, right? Yeah, like if it's spun in. Like if you miss the roll, I'm saying. Oh, yeah. So we're going to move like three rocks to ever get that one back. Though. Well, this one will come right into there. Oh, yeah. Right? So I think we have to make them make the roll. Yeah. I'm just looking. The only other thing I see is like there. I like this one. Okay, let's make it. Okay. Want to take this turn? Um, that might might be tough to keep it out there on the center line. I think this way it's easier. Yeah, even okay. even if we over curl to there, right? Yeah. Right. Um, I can see it being like edge. Yeah. Yeah, edge should be real good. Yeah. That looks really good. Spite the four. Just bite the four here, fellas. Bite so the four. Ryland perfect. Kleider here, already sitting shot, we think, and based on this call, I would bite suggest the they We're think so as right well. Now. So yeah. looking to get buried here, just biting the forefoot. You don't want to take this deep like enough that John Epping can come off that red rock on the wide side. So looking to stay a little bit above that if you could. You could be buried and sit two here. Okay. Okay, 55, 60. All right, boys, let's make it. 55, 60. So first stone here for Ryland Kleider in the second end. Had a chance for three in the first. Ended up giving up a steal of one, looking to Line's get perfect, some of those boys. points back here. It's all you. Line, line's Little bit for good. line. Little bit for line. Oh, line's good. All you guys. 
Just looking to bite the forefoot for second shot. Well, just bite the four, just bite the four. Just top four. Just bite the four. No, don't even need to touch the four. Just bite the four, sit. Sit, that's good. Nice sweep, really good spot, fellas. Nice judge. And that worked out well for Kleider as well. Second. They're now sitting two. Yeah, he's second. Probably a little bit deeper than they would have liked it. Sure. John Epping could play a freeze here and be second shot. If they put that Same a little bit, about path. a rock yeah. higher, then he couldn't freeze to it and sit second. Distance. Yeah. Still going to give Ryland Kleider a chance for two because I don't think you can freeze and be shot stone here, but takes that side rock out of play if John makes on this that. one. So pretty fast. So something like it gave you last time, eh? Yeah, okay. Full four foot. So final stone Top here four. for John Epping. Facing two Clyder Line's counters. Good. Needs to put this in a good spot. Mine's good. This yep. is a familiar story. We were saying the same thing last end. Where? Whoa. Just do it. Just do it. Okay, lock it. Yeah. Line's good. Whoa. Line. Oh, no bounce. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Good <laughs> shot. I take back my previous comment. You can be shot rock and almost frozen. Yeah, great shot Absolute from John Epping. Absolute pistol there from John Epping. Yeah. Couldn't have walked it down any better. Think it's worth it or no? no. Got to get a bit to the inside, right? Um, just for two, I'm saying. Pardon? I'm saying just for two. This way? You think that's there or no? Like two buried? Might be. It curls like hard there. Here. Or draw. Yeah. I don't know, is the draw any easier than this? This is probably the same difficulty, right? Pretty close to it. See in the out? No, if you like Out with back it. eight. Like basically just, okay, well, yeah. back line-ish. Back line. Yeah. Try to hit as thick as you can, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I think it's just for two, right? Unless you can get it in the hole, then no, it's for three. I think it's just two. Let's yeah. play for two. Okay, back line. Yeah, let me know what you see from the hack there, too. Think like that. Okay. Should be able to hold it pretty good. That's probably minimum, actually. Give me a little extra. Yeah. So it sounds like Chelsea, they are coming around this back with eight, back, back line eight, back weight line. to just push that back yellow what we want. to the back eight to count two. Yeah, this is we got. This yeah, they're saying here, that fellas. they don't think it's there It'll for come in three. Nice. If you could, if you could punch it through that hole, it might be there for three. But I'm not yeah. sure you can get it by the red. Okay, so speed good. Um, hey? At the right angle yeah. to get it through that hole. So they're talking about playing it for two. 35, 40. All right, boys, let's make it. Looks tough to me. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy, but neither is the draw, and that was Ryland's point. So bigger reward from this, but definitely a, a tough shot. Final stone, Ryland Kleider here in the second. Close. Whoa. Close. Yep. John Epping made a beauty. Yep. Can yep. Ryland Kleider match it? Hard. Yeah. Whoa. You tie on yep. all over Whoa. it. Whoa. Whoa. Trev. Trev. Hard curl, guys. Hard, hard curl, curl, Matt. Hard They're curl. By the guard. Matt, hard, now hard, can hard, they hard, move hard, it far goal. enough? They will move it far enough, but just for one, I think. And indeed it is. So a great attempt from Ryland Kleider, but just doesn't quite get enough of that yellow stone to push it far enough for two. So they'll put a single on the board. We'll be all tied and get our first look at John Epping with the hammer when we come back. Hey guys, yeah, Sue here again, and I'm having a crazy day because in the morning I was in the east end and now I've zipped across the city to the west end and I'm in the Junction Triangle and we are bringing another spectacular semi to market. And this one is super cool because you know what? It's three gorgeous, stunning units. So you know what? You want to live in one and you want to collect a bunch of rent from the other two, pay your mortgage. It's an amazing investment. Each apartment's been totally done. Brand new kitchens appliances, gorgeous wood floors. They've done all the work. They dug around the basement, waterproof and sump pump, paved a new driveway, new windows, new roof. It is an unbelievable investment. And it's a great location right in the Junction Triangle. Lots of cool little funky shops and cafes on Annette. And then you just hop over to DuPont and Dundas and you're in the Junction, the coolest area in the city. You're close to High Park, Bluer West, Transit, the Up Express downtown, Black Heath Drive, Stockyards, it's an unreal location, great investment. So go to stewsales.ca, see all the pictures, video tours, and videos, and give me a call.
Welcome back to continuing coverage on Curling Live of the ATB Financial Okotoks Curling Classic. John Cullen alongside Chelsea Carey. And Chelsea, it's actually been a lot of rocks in play for what we were sort of expecting in this game here between Epping and Clyder. We sort of thought maybe they would feel each other out, but it's been lots of rocks in play and, and some really nice shot making from both teams so far. Yeah, absolutely. I would I would suggest that both early in Line's both ends, it was it. advantage team Clyder and then a couple hey, of great Line's shots good. by John Epping and a couple of like that was really knocking. close on Ryland's hey, last to being perfect. Never that, never. Um, and they got their one out of it, but for sure would have liked the two if that curled a little bit more, but not a lot of room there for that shot. So super five. precise, but without a perfect freeze by John Epping, there could have very easily been another shot for three for Ryland Clyder. All right, Maddie. Okay. As we see Matthew tie on slide a little bit deep here attempting to freeze to that Scott Chadwick stone in the forefoot. And this is actually Groundhog Day for both of these two teams, Chelsea. Last weekend in Leduc, they actually met in the first game of that tournament as well. John Epping was victorious in that one 5-3. So he'll be looking to replicate that feat here, but Ryland Kleider will hope to get off to That's a bit three, better four, of a start. Three. Always in a triple knockout, Chelsea. Please you just it. love Tommy. to win your first game. It just feels so important. Yeah, I, I would suggest that's true of anything, I always say. <laughs> well, that's true, yeah. You never like to lose. <laughs> no. We wouldn't come on here and be like, you know what, triple knockout. It's kind of good if you lose yeah. your first Yeah, <laughs> no, but even in a round robin, it's just, it doesn't feel very good to look at a goose egg on the board for very long. So winning your first one in, in both formats is certainly important. Obviously, there's a pretty big advantage if you, if you can go through the A side or even win a few games in the A side in a triple um you don't have to play as many sudden death games if you get down to the sea early it's they're all they're all kind of do or die so definitely uh a big one to start out on a positive note and like you said because these two teams played each other just last weekend they'll both be looking for for epping looking to replicate that Line's and for Clyder looking oh, for a little again. bit of revenge okay it's all you Close. Close. yep yep T yep line. gotta go line Hard line. Do it. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa. Bouncing a bit. Close slow, Matt. Yep, yep, yep. 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 Yes, hard. Hard. Got to go, got to go. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Nice angle, Trev. Okay. That's good. That's good. Nice shot there from Trevor Johnson. And once again, we have, we have rocks in play. It's great to see. It'll go in there. Now, there's no lack of excitement so far. Cut. Back eight. Yeah, back eight. Especially not with all the fruit snacks and chocolate bars I brought. <laughs> that you were, you were sort of. It seemed like you were judging me a little bit. I was not. I was trying not to <laughs> indulge myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, you will. You oh, will I will by the for time sure. This weekend it's, is over. It's a, it's a management situation. <laughs> yeah, I got, a, I got a whole bag of goodies here. They had, they had the what I think is the best Halloween yep. treat box on sale. It's the one. It's got Arrow, Kit Kat, yep. Smarties, and Coffee Crisp. Yep which I think is the best combination of four bars. And it was on sale for $8 for 50. Really gotta go. <laughs> so, I mean, so we're not Keep running going. out of chocolate. Well, we might. <laughs> it's a long weekend, Chelsea. It's don't true. don't count out anything. Unfortunately, Pat Jansen will rack the guard there. So it is Clyder continuing to lie one without uh, the hammer here in the third. Then throw it, throw it the same for this one. Got a bit Line's left. good. Full save. T. Okay, you got room. Whoa. Wait only. Wait's good. Close. You gotta go a bit. Wait. Yep. Yep. Whoa, 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 Wait, close, perfect. close, Maddie. Yep, whoa, no, 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 on its own, on its own, on its own. That's good. Nice spot, Trev. Good sweep. So another good shot there from Trevor Johnson. Born. Maybe would have liked it a Born. little deeper, Chelsea. I think they wanted it to curl maybe a tiny bit more. Not sure yeah. Matt. Oh, no. 
<laughs> Hard mat. Sit, honey. Hey, Pat. I always love when we get that. Oh, no. <laughs> I think we want to be in. Top eight. And you Mine's might have thought good. that that was a, a technical error that Make you just saw, but right now, there were numerous calls yep. for people to know what our no, director's screensaver looked mine's like. So <laughs> that's why we mine's did that. Good, burning, it was not a mistake at all. Close, we actually yep. let it lap so yep. everybody could see, oh, the standard whoa. Apple screensaver? Really okay. Yes. Yep. Yep. Yes. That's how yes. Thomas rolls. Hard. He's a professional. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got a set, got a set. Sit. That's a great spot, Jay. Really nice. Good sweep. Pretty good shot there from Josh Mattern. Maybe just over curled a hair. Uh, yeah, a little, a tiny bit, maybe an inch or so. Still good, but yeah, I would have loved to. Quarters, it looks like. First one under curled by an inch, second one over curled by an inch. So Matt Cam looking to hair high. run the pile back here. Shot, Maddie. Nice shot there from Matt Cam. Gets rid of one of the reds, but it is still Kleider sitting one without the hammer. Same thing. Little more ice. Can give you an update on some of the other sheets we've got going on here in Okotoks. We'll try our best to keep you updated as the event goes on. Over on sheet one, Kevin Cooey out to a 2 nothing lead over Perrant. Beside them, it is a, a cagey opening between Aaron Sluchinski and Eve Stalker. Stalker's currently leading that game one nothing. Beside them, Rob Nobert with a big two in the second end, leading Colton Flash two to one. Line's good. Right beside our feature sheet, it's hey, Reed Carruthers now. and Jacob Libis. It's curling hard. Carruthers with a steal of yep. one in the second really to lead line. three nothing. And on hard the other line. side of our feature sheet, it's Morizumi and Horgan. Bounce it off this red. Yep. Morizumi is currently hard, leading. Hard. Right hard, up, Trev. Gotta go. Sorry, really rather hard, uh, Horgan really hard, is currently really leading really one hard. nothing over Morizumi. Morizumi yeah. with the hammer. That one. Right, that one. Taking more ice. Hack. So unfortunately, a little light yeah. from Josh Mattern, and now an opportunity here, Chelsea, for Team Epping to lie too. Yeah, not an easy shot. It's Speed's good. pretty buried from the hack, but you can see a little bit, and they've seen the spot curl, so they should have a pretty good idea of how this will run. Easy. Easy. Close. Yeah. Hard. Whoa. No roll. No roll. Sit, 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 sit. Try. Good shot from Matt Cam, but I think sets up the double here. Yeah, normal. Yeah, you heard John saying no yeah, roll and yeah, wanting it to sit. Nine, if it's a little bit higher, it makes the, the double end. a lot harder. Yeah, it's this roll to straight. a place where it's sort of a perfect, probably half rock double, even like third of a rock. Curl, right? Yeah, I like it. Could I even like get this to more. spin It'll up in behind those bit. staggered yeah. red guards yeah. a little bit if you hit it right. Just a nice nine, nice nine seconds quarter rock. Yeah. Yeah, I think with Ryland suggesting they want to hit quarter rock Chelsea, they're trying to roll right, up well behind those guards. It. Yeah, you may as well. It's fairly risk-free. If you end up hitting a little thick and sit there, that's okay. But um, may as well try to get a little spin here. He's talking just a nine, so not throwing this aggressively hard. Just a solid normal yep. kind of a weight. Yep. Yep. Oh. yep. Trevor Johnson oh. on it right out oh. of the hands. Whoa. Whoa. Hard for no Whoa. This is Whoa. curling. Whoa. So a bit of a plan B there from Ryland Kleider. That's the, the same turn in the first end, Chelsea. Yeah, we saw him get a little tight on, and yeah, same thing there. Give you over here. Yeah, the little bit uh, we're yeah. watching it from behind here. It's, it's hard to tell what the release looks like, but my guess is that it's just maybe a little bit soft. 
um, kind of helping that start to curl a bit early. It worked out pretty good. Just um, back eight. A pretty good Get audible as much there, but to the as we can and kind of yeah, that is two in that spot. So if I'm John Epping, I'm making a note of that, and I would like Rylan Clyder to throw more of those interns off the center line. Okay. So we heard from Epping there, Chelsea wanting to play back eight here. So just sort of releasing that his own Yellowstone off the back of that red for a chance to maybe use it on his last one or make it count on his last one rather. Real close. Yep. Hard, Scott. This is getting real close really to that gotta center go, guard. Really got to go. Roll it in. Roll it in. And it full will 12. indeed Hard, Patty, go. that center guard. Hard, Pat. Full 12. Hard, Patty, spin. So I don't know if they rolled in for fourth shot or not. Or third shot, rather. I heard them saying full 12, and it is full 12, but we it's can't see that close. back rock right yeah, now. Yeah, it's good. Not the result they were looking for. Maybe just a hair light? Yeah, it might have yeah. been. If you could ever just, if you can ever lock it right okay, there. So there right? we go. It does look like that red is okay. closer. I think it's Always tough to tell from nice, our overhead, but. Nice yeah. yeah, it does look like it is it's on the overhead. It's going to be closer though, so. to that one, if yeah. anything, And they didn't right? quite yeah. roll that in as far as they would have liked Should to. Should be okay. That'll over curl center still. So. That looks good. And I mean truly it won't matter i mean if rylan Kleider draws this one down and as he said over curls it just a little bit past that red really one i mean john's going to be in huge trouble to score here i want to be frozen here maddie yeah wanna definitely you, you could look at this and think maybe just you should throw a guard but the problem with the guard is john epping has that angle run has actually just two angle runs slight, on the side there so yeah. wanting to bring this right in if you make this really good to your point it's going to be really hard for john epping to even score certainly takes a multiple out of the equation So final stone here for Ryland Kleider. First time we've seen him without Line's the hammer close. and he's looking pretty good. Line's yep. Good. Already line Line's one, good. looking Got to, to make it bit. two. Okay, line's, per line's well, perfect. Room, if anything. Well, then. Close, really close, close yes, back. yes. Yep. Hard. Yep, 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 yep. Hard line, hard, hard, right hard, 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 hard. Right 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 That's pretty good. Real good, good sweep. Good. Nice, nice sweep. shot there from Clyder, who yeah, now sits two one. without hammer. Maybe you want to just tap this thing? I think it is. That's my thought. Probably remove the seven. Eight super hard to pick. Dangerous to pick, I'd say. I guess you could play it soft. What, the eight? The pick, yeah. Yeah. You could throw like a... Like board? Board. Yeah, I hit like it. that. What are you trying to hit it, thicker or thinner? Thinner, like a quarter. Quarter that stays, doesn't it? With I don't board? know how lively are these things. Nah, just board, Not board weight, yeah. Okay, let's hit it thin. <clears throat> yeah. Just board, pick the back one. So it sounds like Chelsea Epping is conceding one here. Yeah, I think that's the only choice he has. I'm a little bit surprised that they're playing the back one instead of the top one. I know that top one is fully buried, but they've thrown this path a bunch. This, it looks awful scary to me. It's there. So final yep. stone here for yep. John Epping in the third, just trying to limit the damage. Gotta go. And Scott Chadwick is on this ah. right out of the hand. You never want to just skinny the top red. And he will not. So a good shot from John Epping, but a great end from Rylan Kleider. They will get that steal back and take a two to one lead into the fourth. Epping will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the ATB Financial Okotoks Curling Classic. Aztec safety. This must be the place, boys. about right. Looks like this is where the uh, engineers hang out. Nice spot. Here's something else that's cool under pressure. Great 
tour, but where's our man Brett? I don't know. All right, normally he's bailing me out. Roll reversal, baby, there he is. Rescue mode. <laughs> Putting out fires for these guys already. Hello curling fans, welcome back. End number four of this opening game for these two teams, John Epping, Rylan Kleider, John Cullen alongside Chelsea Carey. And Chelsea, I would say so far, it actually has been Rylan Kleider with uh, a bulk of the control in this game. Yeah, I would agree. John's made a couple of great bail shots and we've had a couple of slight miscues from Rylan on his last, but he made his last in this past end perfect and results in the steal. I definitely think they've had Team Epping chasing most of the game so far. Just a little score update over on sheet one. It's Perrant getting two back on Kevin Cooey. So it is tied 2-2 over on sheet one. And Line's I misspoke good. earlier. Up, it was not okay, Stalker who was in the lead, but actually no, Aaron Sluchinski. All and they you, stole in the Line's third perfect. end. So they now Line's lead perfect. two to nothing over Eve Stalker. Anything room. Josh is rock. Got a curl, actually. It's not curling yet. Not curling much. Okay, Josh, hammer it now. Yep. Hard, Josh, hard. All the way over, all the way over, all the way over, all the way over. <sighs> nice shot, Maddie. It almost came. That one ran a lot better. Maybe if. Too late. I didn't check before the game, Chelsea, but I would imagine you probably could have got pretty good odds on uh, Ryan Perrant uh, beating Kevin Cooey. <laughs> yeah, I didn't check either, but I can't imagine those would have been short odds. So if anyone took that bet. Yeah, not close. Congratulations. Well, not yet, Whoa. but maybe. <laughs> Well, yeah, it's Whoa. only the third end. It's lots of times. It's fun to talk about. Yeah, I mean, Whoa. that would be right a pretty now. good bet win if, uh, if Perrant could hold on to that one. Behind it, John. Oh, yeah. And Scott Chadwick just a little bit heavy here. And so this is, again, a bit of a replay of what you were talking about, Chelsea. It has been John Epping chasing the game a little bit here. And if Trevor Johnson can make this hit and roll, we're going to likely be seeing them chase again. Yeah, big shot here for Team Clyder for sure. A little roll underneath. The only bad news for them is that Ten red five. center guard is so tight Clean. that uh, whoa, whoa, you, whoa. it's a short little run back, but curl. it's going to be a run double if he makes this good. Curl, 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 yeah. curl. Ah, okay. nine, and Trevor nine, Johnson eight. will nine, nose eight, it. Eight. Nine, eight. So a chance here now for Pat Jansen to draw into the pile. Every time Scott misses slightly, I just wonder if it's because he's missing his buddy John a little bit. <laughs> Hasn't played without John Buke in about 10 years. I so. mean, that's, it's, I, I laugh, but it's not really a joke because it really does make a big difference. We saw, you know, even somebody with the resume of Jennifer Jones go through a little bit of a transition Whoa. when Jill Officer really uh, took a step Whoa. away from curling. Top so it really eight. does make a big difference, especially yeah. when you've had such Top a long-term yeah. teammate. If it's a few years, it's not as yeah. drastic. But when you've played with somebody Slow the better down, part of John. your life, it, it definitely Whoa. is a pretty Top major four. adjustment to then yeah. not have them on that team. Yep. Yep. Yeah, no, you're absolutely right. Yeah. Good shot. Good shot, Pat. And a very nice shot there from Pat Jansen. Yeah, especially as a lead, you you know, you so much of your game is is relying on your teammates. So when you play with the same people over and over and you know what to expect and you know how to read releases and slides for sweeping and you know that Mine's the guys good. are going to be making all the shots behind you, you can go. it's, it's a good you. feeling. And obviously, I'm sure Scott room. feels great right. about playing with John Whoa, Epping, you know, one of the best shot makers good. in the game. I'm sure he feels good about that. But it does take a little bit to kind of get used to all of that as a lead and just – 
you know, I think too, me being a talkative lead, I, you know, for me, it was always like, okay, if I'm playing with a new teammate, how much do they want me to talk to them? Do they not want me to talk to them at all? What can I do as a lead to best help the sort of back end of the team? And so I'm sure that uh, Scott is, you know, still trying to learn all of that with, uh, with this team epping here. These will all go. For sure, and that's definitely a big thing, and that's the kind of conversations I talked about dynamics before with new teams being one of the things that, that are your biggest priority early on to try to get stuff like that figured out. Well, if you're the kind of person that just talks all the time and then you've got a player who, when they're in the hack, doesn't want to hear a word, you need to be having that conversation before it happens because it's going to throw oh. off the person in the hack. But it's totally yeah. innocent by the by the front end oh. player who's just used to talking. So it's those little things that n there's no right or wrong way. It's just a matter of figuring out how to best help each of your teammates in, in all those different situations. And with new teams and new combinations, we always see a little bit of a growing pain kind of stage where you're still figuring out those little intricacies. So nice run back there from Pat Jansen. And it is now Team Epping lying the shot stone. Line's good. Hey, you could line's, line's good. good. You got some room. 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 Line's good. Close. Yep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Room. Wait only. 15 2. Got to curl, guys. Get it. It's curling. Line's good now. Line's perfect now, Maddie. It's all you guys now. It's all you. It's all you. Great spot there. Yeah, sweet, nice guys. touch there from Josh Matter, and he's had a great game so far. Board. Was impressed Board. with him at the best yep. of the West too. I was I was fortunate enough to commentate that tournament back in April in Saskatoon, which Rylan Kleider won. And you know, Josh is a, a classic third. Just he's got all the shots in his bag, and he's been a you know a, a big shot maker for this team for a long time. And you can really see it in this game. He's he's played fantastic so far. Well, well, Pat. Keep going, Pat! So they were trying to, I think, just loosen that yellow off the back of that red Chelsea and just missed it, I believe. Let's play this. Yeah, that angle is not in favor of Levin? John Epping yep. right now. It looks good because he's shot stone, but it's not great because any contact on that red will kill that your yellow shot rock. So we're just trying to just change up the angles a little bit there, I think. Whoa. 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 Trev. Trev. Hard, Trev. Hard, Trev. Hard, hard, hard. Might make the double. Uh, tough one. 10, under 10. Under, yeah, 9-9. Nine, nine. I know. Well, that wasn't what they planned. No, I missed that a little bit on the high side. We're that playing just good. a little roll, I think, but uh, I would have been okay hitting it a hair high and making the double. Unfortunately for them, hit it a little bit too high and picked their own redstone off that I was just saying was a good angle for Team Clyder. So advantage Epping again here now. You like that? Yeah. Same as going in the middle here, guys. Where do you want it, John T? Just biting the eight foot. So big shot here for Matt Cam sitting one and hoping to either make this count or put it in a good position to make it count later on. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Wait only. Great spot, Matt. A little heavier than John wanted, but I think that's in a pretty good spot, Chelsea. Yeah, I think the big thing there was just sitting Great two. Spot, you didn't need to make the perfect freeze, and it's tricky because you're freezing just right on the corner. So not just make sure you sit two. It curled right. enough that it's, yeah, you could make this, so I think, at least fully buried, if not even over buried a tiny bit. Yeah, it's a really good spot for Matt Cam, and now up to Ryland Clyder to try to limit the damage here somehow. Yeah, yeah. Freeze or you run it or something. 
Probably giving I up give three though, right? Yeah. yeah. Or two. If you make the run double, you yeah. get two. Freeze is probably the call, right? I think so. Okay. Yep. Throw, throw it at loss. Edge. It kind of, it's very patient here for curl okay. now. It'll curl hard at the end though, Jay. All right, boys, let's lock it on here. Lock it on here, fellas. What are you thinking for speed? Yep. So did Josh too. 50, 55, okay. Sounds good, fellas. Let's lock it on there. 50-55, you got it. It's 50-55 that we keep hearing Ryland Kleider's team use numbers like that, 55-60. That's a, that's a split time. I believe they use T-line to hog line split times. Line's good. Line's good, boys. Not a big ad, not a big ad. Yeah, 55 would ad. be probably okay, T well, to hog, guys. yeah. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, can't touch it over there. Whoa. 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 Really need this in front of the yellow here. Yep, yep. And that's a nice touch from Rylan Kleider, but it is still Epping lying one with the hammer. Thanks. Good call. Best you could do there, though, for Rylan Kleider. Just trying to shrink the scoring area as much as possible and take that side, that Matt Cam draw that we just saw stop behind yep. that corner guard, take that out of play. He's accomplished both of those things for the moment. And actually, it's set up. It's and if he runs it, it's ours coming back. Yeah, I like if it, it stays. He might try off his own. It's the only other thing. Okay, what if I'm here? Yeah. Okay. And even if he makes the double, I have a runner for two. I just don't have any shots for two. No, the only, yeah, it would be I this. I got both sides. Or you go there and you just move it a tiny bit. Yeah, that's just risky. If I'm a hair high, he's triple and we're dead. Yeah, you're right. Okay. But, you, but I don't mind that. You no, want to no, just no. play I, like I guess if he makes that, it kind of sucks. You're right. What, the in up yeah. here? Wow. He has to make it. I don't know. It's up to you, John. That was my first thought. Okay. I just don't I can't play it too aggressive to move. But it doesn't really do anything if you just lock it. No, I know. That's what I mean. That's it. This is probably your best shot. If you can put it there, we're pretty happy. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I feel it. like if I'm John, I'm, I'm trying to get second here, shot right, right yeah. now. If you, if you don't get second shot, then you, you yeah. might have a really hard time getting second shot on your last one. I agree, and, and to the point, I, I think they got to the right decision here. If he tries to play this, this out turn earlier in the end, I don't mind this out turn little tap and rearrange. But to John's point, if he's a little bit high, Rylan Kleider makes a triple, and then now he's drawing for one against four or five potentially so I think this is a smart call you're likely going to leave him a pick here but you're just trying to get your two and the other bonus to this um, in my mind for John Epping is that you make this Rylan Clyder picks it now you've at least just thrown it so you have to feel really good about yep. making it a second time so yep. it's sort of a practice yep. one in a lot of ways as well gotta go hard this is curling a lot Pat Jansen trying to hard. keep it straight here yep And it will just shade their own and just roll too far. John Epping will not be happy with that. Can't stick it anywhere good. No. Do you see any shot for multiple? For him? Yeah. Well, he has a draw for two. Can you play a hack later at all? On their eight? Yeah. I think this yeah, is the call. Yeah, probably right, actually. Probably this the, is this the call? I think so. Because he right, can't throw weight out at it, right? This one, yeah. 11? Okay. Should yeah, curl nice here. Yeah, should curl good here. If anything, more than the other Looks side. Looks like max for a roll to me, but... I'm good with that, because nose isn't, nose isn't dead. Yeah, true. That looks... It'll curl on this side. I'll be just 11. So I think, Chelsea, they're talking just about hitting and here. rolling behind those two. They'll give yeah. John a draw, but it's not easy. They're shrinking the this scoring cool area if they roll there. The side, too. Yeah, I don't think you can. I don't think there's much here where you can take away okay, boys, good speed John's here. opportunity to have a shot for two. Just it's a just nice a matter of making that shot as difficult as you can. If you make this roll Let's good, then again, like to your point, you shrink nice that scoring weather. area a bit. I think it's your best option. So last stone here for Ryland Clayter in the fourth Whoa. end. Whoa. Close. Leading Go by on. one. Yep. 
Whoa! Whoa. Trying to Whoa. make life a little more difficult for John Epping. Gotta get under, Jay. And it just doesn't quite roll enough, and so Epping will now Probably a 10, hey? have something to draw to. Probably a 10. And probably, Chelsea, to your point, when you were talking earlier, John could basically throw the same shot here. Yeah, he was a little bit heavy, but now you heard you yeah, heard Ryland Kleider saying you got to get we'll under there, which just, uh, would have been great just so that John doesn't. Now he can play to that. He can throw the same weight, even though that one would have been heavy on its own. He can just come to that red or he can play a straight draw. I, I imagine you'll see him probably throw pretty similar weight and basically the exact same line he had on his first one. And you make this. So a little bit of a missed opportunity there to put a little extra pressure on John. Epping. Ryland Kleider say his uh, his weight was just a little bit big. They were Mine's talking good. about 11. Mine's and it was, good. Yep, um, yep, a little more than yep. a 10, so just a little bit heavy. So here we go. Pat Jansen just trying to yeah, guide going, this going, one in going, for going, their going, second point. Good sweep. And John Epping Try. does throw that little bit extra weight, and it turns out to be two. just all right as they'll have two covering the World Financial yeah. Group logo yeah. there, and those two will go right up on the board. So heading into the fourth end break, I mean, we're not really taking a break, but heading into the halfway <laughs> point of the game, uh, John Epping will have a one-point lead, and Ryland Kleider will have the hammer when we come back. You're watching the ATB Financial Curling Classic live from Okotoks. I think it's great to be partnered with another Alberta-based company who shares a lot of the same values and beliefs as us. Our team's looking to represent not only Alberta, but, but Canada. And I think just the privilege of being able to wear the, the red and white and put on that maple leaf is definitely what we're chasing. And hopefully that for us means a couple of world championships and culminating in the, in the 26 Olympics in Italy. I think you need to be active and engaged in your community. You need to be a positive model for all the kids coming up, you know, playing whatever sport they're competitive in. And, and I think all of us on this team are really striving to be, you know, not only good, good teammates to each other on the ice, but hopefully also real good ambassadors for curling and sport as a whole off the ice. They have a great um, family there and a great team. Um, a lot of the same qualities that we have, um, just uh, teamwork, working hard to get the job done and uh, helping out each other along the way. So I think that um, as we continue to work with ATB over the next four years, um, you're going to see a lot of those qualities come through in our curling team. Uh, the people at ATB have been great to me. I've met a whole whack of them over the last nine seasons. Great people, they do a ton of stuff in the communities. They brought me into a lot of local communities as well where I've got to meet even some of their clients and brand representatives. We feel very fortunate to be partnered with a company that gives so much to Alberta and small town Alberta being born and raised um, here in this wonderful province and being partnered with a brand like them means the world to me. Being able to be involved with a company that gives so much to the grassroots. Um, even during the COVID years, they created two World Curling Tour events that we could play in. Uh, and just seeing their passion to give back to this wonderful province is, is one of the reasons we feel so fortunate to be partnered with them. Welcome back. Continuing coverage of the Okotoks Curling Classic, live from Okotoks, Alberta. John Cullen alongside Chelsea Carey as we settle in here on Curling Live's YouTube page for the second half of this great opening round game between Rylan Kleider and John Epping. And Chelsea, we talked about it in the fourth end. John Epping had up to that point been chasing the game. It felt like the fourth end, they finally kind of put it together a little bit and no surprise, they managed to put two points on the board. Yeah, they were still chasing a little bit early on. A great freeze by Pat Jansen turned it around a little bit and a bit of a miscue uh, by Team Clyder when they hey had a chance to uh, maybe make some sort of double or a little hit and roll and ended up picking their own rock, frozen rock off the top of the Team Epping Stone. Line's good. Leaving John the draw Mackie. for two at Wait the end good. and he makes hey. no mistake having just thrown Lean. it on his first whoa, one. Whoa, so whoa. a big whoa. deuce there for Team Epping and whoa. a bit of a momentum whoa. shift here potentially. Mackie. But we'll see whoa. how Team Close. Clyder responds. Whoa. 
Curl, curl. Hard curl, Jay. Hard curl, hard curl, hard curl, hard curl, hard curl. Hard curl. Okay. All right, Maddie. Perfect weight. This probably opens it up for a double here for Pat Jansen. Normal. Nose. The winner of this game will move on in the A bracket to play the winner of Carruthers and Libis. And it is currently Reed Carruthers, last week's finalist in Leduc, with yeah. a commanding 4 0 lead over Libis. Whoa. They're playing the fourth end. Popped your back pretty good. Whoa, whoa. Yeah. Still going out. Whoa. Still going out. Still going out. Good. Uh, just doesn't quite get that second red out, but it is Epping lying two without hammer. Not seeing it. Yeah, I think that's. Well, I like I like the. the we will have coverage of the Okotoks Curling Classic all weekend long here on Curling Live. So if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, make sure you do. You'll get updates when we go live. For every draw, we're not doing any of the morning draws, but we'll be here with you the rest of the way. Myself and Chelsea Carey and the whole production team here. It's going to be. A great tournament. A lot of the top teams here that you're going to get a chance to see. Some of them for the first time. This Whoa. is, of course, the first tournament for Brendan Whoa. Botcher. First tournament for Whoa. Kevin Cooey. Uh, so it's going to be fascinating to see how those two teams look to, to start their year. And speaking of Botcher, actually, Chelsea, okay, that is the game we have at 4, 4 p.m. local time here yeah. in Alberta. Mountain time. It will be Brendan Botcher against Kyler Kleibrink. A little bit of an all-Alberta battle, so looking forward to that one. Interesting. What are we guarding, the center one? Seems like Matt Cam doesn't double. love this call, <laughs> Chelsea. Say, he doesn't sound <laughs> terribly convinced. But doesn't, uh, isn't going to fight it, so you can like a center guard. You think Matt doesn't like it just because if you hit that open red one, you maybe head towards a blank, and then Hard line. you... I don't know. You maybe. I guess you want to try to get hammer in six. Maybe that's what John Epping is thinking. You play the guard and you, Half you hope that you high. force him and get the hammer back in six. What Matt Kem's worried about maybe is sewing a guard and leaving a double right. for Team Kleider to then sit shot buried behind your own guard and second shot out on the wing. This would be a little longer than they would have hoped and over curls a little bit. So not ideal there. For Pat yeah, speak, speaking of that double, Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> Here it comes. Yeah. Norm or 10. It's like you could see the future. <laughs> I like oh, the double. I wish I was that powerful. <laughs> you got hit Don't we all? anywhere like <laughs> quarter. If I could see the future, I would have quit curling when even, I was 23. You can get away with even a little less, but I'm <laughs> There's a lot of, I, if I knew there was so much pain in my hit. future, <laughs> I would have just been like, you know what? I'm done. You got to hit out. like an eighth to jam it. Half a rock is even good too. So big shot here for Trevor Johnson. He's got to just kind of skinny by that top yellow guard. Try and remove both yellow stones. Doesn't look like he's throwing a ton of weight here. Yep. I don't know that Whoa. he can because Whoa. it's like that yep. rock is yes. still relatively yes. buried. Hard. Hard. This is getting Hard. close to that Hard. guard. Oof. Ooh. Just, just nicks that center guard. And so Epping lying two. Without hey, the hammer here. Someone should go ask Matt Cam what he thinks of that call now. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a genius when you get that miss. Yeah. Should be gradual. Stay close, Pat. So now they are hitting this red one. Try to lie three. On the sheet beside us, it's Team Horgan putting up a deuce in the fourth end. They now lead Morizumi 3-1. to one. And Kevin Cooey put up two in the fourth end as well. They lead Ryan Perrant 4-2. to two. And over on sheet three, Colton Flash yeah. getting himself back in the game with a big three yeah, in the fourth end. So they now lead Rob Nobert 4-3. to three. Yep, solid nine. And a roll out there for Matt Cam, and now a chance for Josh Mattern to get rid of both of these yellow stones. Clean. Whoa, whoa, Clean. whoa. Clean, yep. Yep, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa just whoa. clean, just clean. Clean, clean. Come on, Jay. 
shot. 8-4. Control. It's, it's no mistake this time. So it would appear that we might be heading towards our first blank. One-way ticket to Blanksville. Here we go. Haven't got to say that in like four months. Nice to be back. Control. Feels good. Yep. Whoa. Clean. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Yep. Clean. Yep. 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 Hard, Trev. Hard. 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 Nice sweep, boys. Good sweep. You're going under. You're going yep. over here. Yeah. Go under. Under. Yeah. Go way under. <laughs> Matt doesn't like that either. Matt and John not exactly aligned this end on uh, the game plan. <laughs> yeah, I always like when, uh, like, I, I like a testy third, but I also like, I also sort of like, and it's not even passive aggressive because I don't think Matt Cam has too many aggressive bones in his body. He's a pretty mild mannered customer, but I do like the sort of passive. It's like. Under? Uh, under? Sorry, can you say yep. that again? Yeah, are you sure? Are you sure? <laughs> Whoa! The subtle, yep. the subtle coordinated, uh, the extra blinks. Whoa. That's, a, that's Whoa. how you can usually tell when Matt Cam's upset. He just blinks Whoa. a few more times yep. than usual. Whoa. Sit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and the reason why Matt is maybe a little concerned is if that rock is not on the rings, Rylan would have the opportunity to draw around the corner guard and potentially get two. I don't think he's necessarily going to do that, but... And trust it, normal. It's actually, it's tough for him to be buried behind that guard. This isn't bad, man. Yeah, that's good, too. I like that. must think this is in. He can't be anywhere here where we can't get No, I'm seeing nine. Nine with nose? Just nose it with nine. Should curl up just a bit, I think, okay? Yeah. Jay, I need, a, I need a bit more than that. Yeah. Can't see it falling off the sheet. All right, boys, nice nine. Let's make it. So Ryland Kleider just looking to nose that epping stone. A little solid. Yep. Whoa. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. Never. Come oh, up an up inch. And Matthew oh, yeah. Tyon just backing that up a little oh. bit. And so now it's a chance for John Epping to perhaps force Kleider here if he can <coughs> draw around this corner guard well. Give me a hair last. Looked like we were heading Just for a blank, well. but it's been a little bit of a, a curious last few stones here, Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, there's been a couple Here's little miscues, a couple questions about strategy. We've had a lot of drama for what looked like a blank. And yeah, if John Epping can make this good, you probably want this to be as high in the house as you can have it, like even just biting. And dead berry, just because that guard is so long that if you go on the T-line, then Ryland Clutter can probably chase it, and he might be able to anyway, Easy. but... Just um, big decision for him then because you, if you Line's ever hit good. that guard and you give up a steal of one and you're two down playing six, it's not a great situation. Looks light. So, want to make sure of your single point here if John makes this really good. They're, they're got to go for Save speed yourself. though. I don't think you're going to get her. Keep going. And John pulls the string a little bit. So, if you had to miss as a skip, that's one that's uh, not too horrible to miss. Had it on the perfect line, but like you said, Chelsea, you wanted it a little high and maybe just went a little too aggressively for keeping it that high. Yeah, for sure. They were on it right out of his hand, so just under threw that one a tiny bit. Probably thought the sweepers could carry it, but they haven't really thrown a bunch out to the wing that wide, so that spot might like not slide quite as good as what we would see uh, in, a, in a more worn-in path as well. 
So for Ryland Clyder, can go to school here a little bit, pick a spot you haven't really seen. Pretty easy on it. So we will put a couple zeros up on the board. Ryland Clyder will keep the hammer. John Epping will keep the lead. We'll be right back. Stu here again and having a crazy day because in the morning I was in the east end and now I've zipped across the city to the west end and I'm in the Junction Triangle and we are bringing another spectacular semi to market and this one is super cool because you know what it's three gorgeous stunning units so you know what you want to live in one and you want to collect a bunch of rent from the other two pay your mortgage it's an amazing investment each apartment's been totally done brand new kitchens appliances gorgeous wood floors they've done all the work they dug around the basement waterproof at some pump paved a new driveway new windows new roof it is an unbelievable investment and it's a great location right in the junction triangle lots of cool little funky shops and cafes on annette and then you just hop over to dupont and dundas and you're in the junction the coolest area in the city you're close to high park bluer west transit the up express downtown black Heath drive stockyards it's an unreal location great investment so go to stewsells.ca see all the pictures video tours and videos and give me a call Look at that parking lot. It is spacious, my friends. And look at also beautiful Okotoks, Alberta. I love these drone shots, Chelsea. This is like, this is nice. Oh, and a shot of us. Hey, <laughs> I should have dressed it better. <laughs> you look good, though. I, I look like garbage. I almost said, I almost said the S word. <laughs> Careful now. Yeah, I know. I don't want to get in trouble. It's a family show. Nice to have you back, curling fans. End number six here. Great opening draw action between John Epping and Rylan Kleider. It is John Epping with a 3-2 lead, but Ryland Kleider does have the hammer here in the all-important sixth end. Line's good. We'll see if uh, Matthew Tyon can have a little all bit better guys, of an end you. this time around. That's Line's sort of perfect. how we ended up in a blank situation last end as he just sort Krebs of missed his... Krebs are off. His Go shots far. and gave an opportunity really for now. Epping Trev's to wrong. keep it clean. Eat, Rye. Gotta good. go, Trev. Then gotta go. Hard, Trev. It's like we're headed for some rocks and play uh, here early again. It's not really buried by top eight either. Okay, that slid really good. All right, Matty. Yeah, I got. I had a quick time too. So just a, a little deep yeah. again from Matt Tyon. So a chance here for Pat Jansen to chase Matty, it. Has, that, has has your two been running straighter? I think so. Yeah. No, that's not even close. I had, a, I had a time that I didn't have much more for time either, so that rock's sliding better for sure. I think it's a bit straighter. Honestly, if people were listening and think I was making Back fun of the parking lot, I yep. live in Vancouver, so I'm just like, any <laughs> wide open space, I'm like, oh my God. Yes. They had enough room. They didn't build a condo on that thing? That's crazy. Whoa. Matt Cam trying to get this whoa, whoa, by whoa. the corner guard, but he cannot. Okay. This so it is Epping sitting two, but Kleider has that one in the corner of the house and a chance here to get something this set up. This is pretty up. good, too. I think that's better. I like that one. I think that's the call. What's that? Levin? So we're going the way? Okay. Actually, Trev, I th let's make this. Even if you roll to there, it's good. Levin? Jamming if you go that much? Yeah. You want a little less? Okay, 12. Okay, 
So 11 and 12, again, referring to the amount of weight that they're throwing. 11 more like a bumper or board weight and 12 closer to a hack. All in. Nope. Yep. 11, 5. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Close. Close. Yep. Yep. Whoa. whoa. Clean. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, it might just be straight behind the center. Okay. That's good. Good spot, Trev. How's the weight there? Good shot there 11. from Trevor Johnson. Maybe they were hoping to roll a little bit more, I think, but certainly doesn't hurt them there. Yeah, overswept a little bit. They were looking to roll to a freeze, but it's not a bad spot on Epping having to be a little bit careful about hitting it high and bumping it onto his that? own yellow if he makes a play on it. I don't know. Can't top that out, eh? Can you tap it out? You gotta get to seven eighths. I have two thirds. Okay, let's try and make that back line. Back, yeah, so a couple more feet, Patty. So they're trying to tap it through here, Chelsea, but this is a, a little risky. You ever put this out and jam that red on the yellow, you're in huge trouble. Yeah, the, the miss here is probably the guard, but that's not great for you either. This is, uh, I'm, they're, they're in a little Wait, bit of good. trouble Back here, line. to be honest, for, for a team epping. Back so line. having to make something yeah. happen a little bit. Whoa! Whoa! Back line! Matt. Go, John, go. Out of the eight. And that's what out I was worried eight. about. It's good, Pat. But I think okay. they move it far enough to avoid trouble, at least for the moment. Yeah, it worked out pretty good. It was looking a little scary for a second. That's where we saw Rylan Kleider's um, shot in the second yeah. end for, for two, not really curl a ton, finish a ton either. So maybe a tiny bit straight there. Certainly was all there for weight, but a good result. Sitting two now. I think so. It's a thin quarter to go across the top. Or you just punch it through. What if he knows? I think we should play this. Or you just flop in. Flop a hair. Yeah, you don't have much room for that. Well, nose isn't bad. Whatever you're seeing. Yep, that's really good too. 10? Or do you like 11? Yep, same weight. Talked about the double, but it's really thin on the first rock to not jam it on that back red behind the that's partially behind the corner guard. So looks like they've changed it to either a nose it's hit good. wouldn't be bad, or ideally Close. a little roll underneath yep. the center guard. You just have to again be careful about yep. that jam. Hard, hard. Okay, whoa, Josh, hard, Josh, hard, Josh, hard. So well, it does rough. jam, but it rolls to a perfect spot. So you, maybe you almost don't mind the jam there if you're I Team Kreider. Yeah, you got away with it a yeah. little bit. If you if you jammed Lord. it any differently, it wouldn't have yeah. rolled to such a good spot. Lord. But if you if you didn't dead jam it on that red and it spilled a little bit and you could have sat first and third out of it, it would have been ideal. But a good, pretty good audible considering they were over curling uh, plan A there. So not a bad result. Looks like Matt Cam's going to try to unlock this. And uh, I'm not sure if he's trying to roll behind the guard or stay on the nose, but kill that back yellow and, and uh, yep. make sure you can kill that red on your next shot. Yep. I believe he was trying for the nose, but I don't know that it's going to get there. This is curling a mile. Hi, Pat. Whoa. Okay. They, uh, they didn't want to do that. No. <laughs> I'm fairly certain that was not the plan. John trying to audible that at the very end to come onto that back well, redstone, but it was paper thin to do that. Sure. 11. Ends up going through the hole, yeah. so a little bit of trouble here now for Team Epping. Yeah, it just looked like Matt was maybe a little light on that one. They wanted board weight. And should so it, it a was, looked a little a light for that, this, and it really took thing. off. And That's safer, though. I yeah, like a chance it. for Kleider to lie three now, and we're getting pretty deep in the end here. Yeah, and lie three pretty spread out and, and not a lot of natural angles for doubles if he if he were to just even hit this on the nose. Whoa. Clean. 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 Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Little curl. 
It's a good spot, Jay. Good sweep. 10 7. How is the weight? 10 7. No real angles for doubles here for John Epping. Going to look at maybe some kind of a hit and roll, try to group them together so that he might have You're a like, double hack. on the next same shot. Same weight. Same weight. Yeah, you heard him say hack and that, that that was the same weight. So his first one was just a little bit light based on that because they did ask for board. Yeah, we saw the, the John Epping sigh of contempt Whoa. right there. <laughs> Real close. When you're the skip and you, well, yeah. you've probably been, you've been there too. When you're Whoa. the skip and you just sort of look at the house and go, well, yeah. none of this is good. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. Uh, there's whoa. not a lot of good things yes. happening for John Epping right whoa. now. Whoa, 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 no roll, no roll, no roll. Oh, it needs to sit. Good spot, Addy. That's a really nice shot for Matt Cam and gets a favorable spin back towards that red too. So almost as good as Matt Cam could have made that. Red is still the shot stone, but. I do think that's as good as he could have made it. At, at this point for Team Epping, you're, you're it's not looking great for a force. You're just trying not to give up more than two, and, and so mission accomplished there for Matt Cam. Takes that back red out of play for all intents and purposes. Like, just, just lose those and kick your shooter? I don't know if it's worth it, though, either. I'm just trying to keep the scoring area as big as possible. Because as soon as we go top four, he's playing the hit and roll. It's, 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 it's and then it gets really small. I like yeah. drawing up a series of five. Best would be to do this, I think. But that's impossible, and this isn't, this isn't good either. And if you do this, he's going to have a double, right? What if you pick this out? What if you just come here? Is he ever freezing? Yeah. Okay. But it's, it's got to make it still. We could pick it out, too. If you pick it out, is he... He's ripping a double or hit and roll then. Is blank the here the worst? Yeah. Probably not, probably I don't know if there's a blank because no. this one's sticking. Well, I know, but it, I think, no double if we I think it. I think it plays to get rid of it and just pick it out. You could try to stick if you want to, but I don't know if it's worth it. That's, I don't even know if that's there, man. So at least yeah. have to be third. It'd be back line and it'd be like this. I think you want to make sure this gets out. Okay. I, I think know. it's the pick then. Leave him a tough double and a hit and roll, well, I think. What doubles he playing? There's that. But he's rolling out. Yeah, and then we draw. Yeah. Okay, I think this is the call. I, I, I think he's playing, he might play this. Which is okay, because then we should still have a chance for two still. Okay, I, I think I like it. Yeah. What kind of weight are you seeing? I think just, I think just pick it out. Like... So good talk there, What's but also do? demonstrates how good Matt Cam's shot was, that there's really yeah, no really way of or, or trying to set up three here. No, yeah, he took the three away. Now it's just trying to preserve your deuce. You heard them talk initially about hitting this red-yellow combo a little bit on the high side or the broom side as we look at that. But the problem is you leave John Epping a pretty makeable double back, so they've switched to just picking it, which I think is what I would be doing. It's my preferred call just because then any double that that it leaves the, the double is always going to be there for John Epping, but this makes it a yep. harder double than if he were to yep. kill both rocks and stick his Hard. shooter. Hard. Looked like Josh was Hard. a little tight on this one. And he will kill his own back one. Needs that one to stay. Okay, not a not a horrible result, but unfortunately for Ryland Kleider, John Epping should be able to get rid of Shot Stone and lie two somewhere. Yeah, the only good news for Team Clyder there is the angle of this, this back yellow. So you can't really roll yeah. to the middle very Flat easily unless you hit it super thin and punch it across the face. So Four. looks like they're going to try to hit this a little bit high and roll um, roll to the edge of the 12 foot or so. Want to sit two, obviously, but roll it as far as you can Four. while still sitting two. Stay here, more. Well, that's too much. Yeah. So first stone here in the sixth for John Epping. At times throughout this end, he's looked to be in real trouble, but a chance here to Close. ease some yeah. of that pain. Hard! Whoa! 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 Scott! Scott, 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 Scott. 
And that yeah, was that was not the plan. No, I was thinking nose is good too. No, that's yeah. pretty much the only thing he didn't want to do. Yeah. He's they were over curling the called can, shot, so an attempt to make the best out of a tricky okay. situation and unfortunately okay, so was too late to get that rock to finish enough to not jam it. Yeah, we heard Matt Cam say they really didn't have a really didn't have a hope with that one just where it ended up. There was even if you got on it early to try to make it curl, it was never going to curl enough. Oh yeah, it was. Uh, we threw this it was in trouble I need a bit right more away, and unfortunately I for I threw with John with Epping, with if you're going to miss that shot, the way to miss it is on the high side. You hit and roll out. It's still never more than two. At least now you potentially bring three back into the equation here with uh, nice here, with Ryland hitting to no, sit three. I like nose a lot. Yeah, you had a bit of a skip's eye for that really one. It felt here. like uh, you sort of recognized how much trickier that shot was than maybe it looked. Yeah, it doesn't look that, but it's hard to it, it's hard to hang it perfectly on the edge of the 12 foot. That's a really hard line call. So it's just one of those ones that seems so basic. It's a it's essentially just a little bit high, but it's a lot trickier than it uh, than it appears. So big chance here for Ryland Kleider. He's Whoa. down one with the hammer, Whoa. but has a chance to Whoa. lie three. Hard, Matt. Hard, Matt. Hard. Hard, Needs Matt. Needs this one to Hang stick around. And if you see the hook, John Epping yeah. has just been let off of it. <laughs> little heavy, Jamer. Rylan Kleider just, Ten eight. Nine, nine, eight. as you could hear, a little heavy. And that was sort of the difference. And so... Situation here, Chelsea, I guess if you're John, you'd really never think about drawing around the center guard here. Yeah. No, I don't think so. Even if it was a tighter center guard, I don't think he would. But with a guard, as long as it is, no matter where you draw, you're going to probably give Ryland Kleider a pretty makeable shot for three. So you take your medicine at this point. You almost did give up a three several times in this end. It looks looked like they might. So, um, you know, you don't ever love giving up two, but this isn't a bad two to give up based on how this end has gone for John Epping. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Clean. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. It's good. Shot. So John Epping will stick it, and now Ryland Kleider will hope to do the same. Nice 11 here, fellas. Nice 11 here. That is 9 8 on that last one. 9 8. If anything, it might curl a bit harder out here too, I would say, but nice 11 here, fellas. A little less weight, just a little bit. Let's make it, dudes. So here we go, final stone for Ryland Kleider. Yep. Needs to hit yep. and stay for yep. two. Hard, hard. And this right is curling. Trevor Johnson right all Clean. over it out of the hand, and he does Clean. a great job of holding it right there. It will indeed stay. So, as we said, John Epping may be lucky to avoid a three, but Ryland Kleider will be thrilled with a two in the sixth. John Epping will have the hammer down one. When we come back, you're watching the Okotoks Curling Classic live on Curling Live. In the morning, I was in the east end, and now I've zipped across the city to the west end, and I'm in the Junction Triangle, and we are bringing another spectacular semi to market. And this one is super cool, because you know what? It's three gorgeous, stunning units. So you know what? You want to live in one, and you want to collect a bunch of rent from the other two, pay your mortgage. It's an amazing investment. Each apartment's been totally done. Brand new kitchens, appliances, gorgeous wood floors. They've done all the work. They dug around the basement, waterproof it, sump pump, paved a new driveway, new windows, new roof. It is an unbelievable investment. And it's a great location right in the Junction Triangle. Lots of cool little funky shops and cafes on Annette. And then you just hop over to DuPont and Dundas and you're in the Junction, the coolest area in the city. You're close to High Park, Bloor West, Transit, the Up Express downtown, Black Creek Drive, Stockyards. It's an unreal location, great investment. So go to stewcells.ca, see all the pictures, video tours, and videos, and give me a call.
Welcome back, folks. Two ends left to play here in this opening draw between Team John Epping and Team Rylan Kleider here in Okotoks. John Cullen alongside Chelsea Carey. And uh, Chelsea, we saw John Epping sort of get, Just. you know, maybe a little bit of control back in the game. Had a really good fourth end, had a good fifth end, forced the blank. Uh, but that sixth end almost, almost really got away from them. It almost did, yeah. I mean, giving up a deuce isn't great, but it looked a, a few times during that end that it might have been possible for Team Clyder to get a three. So uh, both teams kind of happy with that two Little results, time, I would think, early. at the end of the day. Hard early. Two. Two, three. Okay, line's good. Okay, way too close. Okay, line's good. It's all you now. Sliding good. Two and a half. Wait's perfect. Right here, boys. Line's perfect. So Clyder looking to get the, the double guards up here. I guess, Chelsea, if you're Rylan Clyder, your whole goal here is to force John to take one. Yeah, in a perfect world, that's uh, for sure what you would like, and especially because that um, first team, Eppingstone, didn't end up where they wanted it either. Good opportunity to throw the second guard and put some pressure on John here early. So as Scott Chadwick looks to come around, we'll try and update you on some of the scores around us. Yep. Over on sheet two, Aaron Sluchinski yep. is drawing for two against okay, Eve Stalker. Good. Stalker had managed to yep. tie that game Whoa. up. Top eight. Yep. Whoa. Top eight. Top four. Okay. And okay. Aaron makes no mistake, so it'll be 4-2. Sluchinski, they're heading into the seventh. Stalker with Hammer. Beside them, there's maybe a little bit of an upset in the making here as Rob Nobert from Trail BC is up 6-3 to three on Colton Flash. Flash has the hammer. They're playing the sixth. Beside us, it's uh, Okotoks beatdown as Reed Carruthers is up 7-1 over the local team, Jacob Libis. And beside us on the other side, it was a steal of one for Team Horgan in the fifth. They're up 4-1 on you. Yusuke Morizumi right out of Karazawa in Japan. Okay, match rock then if you have to hammer it. Wait only. 15 0. Line's perfect. That line's almost down. It's looking really good. Yep, 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 yep. No, that's good. Nice block. Really good judge. Very nice shot from Trevor Johnson after Scott Chadwick made a very nice shot himself. Moving a bit, it's good. My bad, I read the scoreboard wrong. Flash is winning 6-3. They were the ones who stole. You know, you feel bad, it's Coach? my first game of the season. My apologies. <laughs> the rust is real. Whoa. That's right. Back four. At least this kind of rust only T. can be corrected. Yep. When I curled the rust, you know, it was yep. just like, oh well, Whoa. maybe I'm just not maybe I'm just not good in good shape anymore. Here. But yeah, sorry, my apologies. Right. Flash is up 6-3 on Rob Nobert. Like maybe a foot more weight. Yep. That's is the shot to ever come here? There... Their second shot right now. So we bump our red. Pardon? Let's back eight. Nose our red. I don't want to create a bunch of separation. I think this is the call. Okay. So like, tricky I, freeze I here for Trevor thought? Johnson. We just threw the slot Got to come around a couple rocks in the top four foot. Yeah, this is really precise. I think the result of it is potentially the best result you could get if you make it, but it's uh, saying it's not easy is, is an understatement here. Room, wait only. Room, room. Still lots of room. Line's good. Lots can't bounce. Wait's wait's perfect. Okay, line's getting good. Line's match raw can't bounce still. Can't bounce still. Can't bounce still. There it goes now. Really curly now. Yep, yep. Real good, Trev. Nice Fantastic good. shot from Trevor Johnson. Exactly where they would have wanted it. 
So Epping lying that one with hammer, but it is, uh, it's getting piled up in the forefoot. Yeah, that's uh, too many rocks in the middle for comfort here for John Epping. You're going to see him try can. to move some stuff around here. done there he couldn't see very much of that uh that rock that he just hit squeaked that guard pat seemed mad about it john seemed happy about it so i don't know i don't know how to feel chelsea you're the skip that seemed good to me yeah i mean Clyder's now lying lying too i guess but they would have liked it a little thinner to kill the side one but i think that's splitting hairs a bit that was uh you know they Why put the broom down for that as I if it was an that easy that shot and it wasn't so okay, that's probably a pretty good result you uh you opened up that forefoot which i think was the Mine's biggest perfect. thing for john epping now. here leave yourself some room to man. score that's rock only 14 7. whoa whoa whoa, whoa. Uh, i don't want to got to try to keep some separation i think yeah. sit sit that's a good spot jay that works good sweep guys good sweep. nice shot from joshua mattern Maybe they would have liked it a little higher, Chelsea. Yeah, it's a little, little bit deep on them, but I think it got buried enough that it's probably Back okay. Back 12. If that yeah. stops a little bit higher, then there's no... If, if um, Matt Cam can get close to the nose of this, he almost creates a little pocket of those two reds behind his shot stone. So definitely a little deeper than they'd hoped. But a big shot here for Matt Cam. Yeah, needs to get this one somewhere close. This one is floating. Scott Chadwick trying to bring it back towards the center here. Keep going, Scott. Keep going. And that will right. just scoot off. And so it's Kleider sitting two without the hammer here in the seventh and only three rocks to come for each team. The weight was probably pretty close there for Matt. Maybe just a little bit of an extra set. John right out of his hand said whoa and, and had Scott carving it basically from the get-go so just a little wide either slide or release line's good okay line's top guys. four boys Go line's good me. all you guys Trebs rock line's tight Trebs rock hard line our guys really trying hard to get line. this one into the forefoot here tie on and Trevor hard, Johnson hard. right all hard. right on top of hard. it Hard. Trying to get it past that center guard, but just a little bit light from Mattern. But still, I mean, you know, you see on the screen there, oh, it might be pretty easy to get into the forefoot, but where we're looking from, it's not It's not the easiest shot. Yeah, I don't think you have much of a choice now. No. It is fully, fully, fully buried for Matt Cam. And just beside us, it was a big steal of three for Team Horgan. So they lead Team Morizumi seven to one. They're playing the seventh end as well. About close. Really close. Wow! Scott. This also needs to curl a mile. Scott Chadwick trying to bring it in. And Matt Cam owes me $10. <laughs> I said last year, Chelsea, when I started doing this, like, we're not a, you know, we're not a TV network. We don't really have, like, a swearing thing in place. So I just said anytime anyone swore, they owed me $10. Um, and then no yeah, one paid me. Yeah, I, I don't mind being <laughs> So even. I don't know. Shocking. I know. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. <laughs> Maybe I'll just say I'm going to give all the money to charity. Like I will. Like not just say it. Like I will give all the money to charity. But maybe that's the way I get. It. Maybe that's the way I get it collected. Like for the Sandra Schmerler Foundation or something. Probably have a better chance doing it that way. Yeah. If someone's going to pay us ten bucks every time they swear, I want Ben to be uh, on the broadcast every single game. <laughs> Yeah, well, we 
get uh, we get Benny Hebes in a couple hours here, so I think uh, <laughs> Just, I think we'll be walking out of here with heavy pockets yeah, after that. <laughs> Line's good. Line's good. Room close. So a real opportunity close. here for Whoa. Ryland Whoa. Kleider Whoa. to put the yep. screws to John Epping. Yep. Maybe a little heavier than they were expecting as well. I wonder if this path is almost keening up a little bit, Chelsea. That's a few misses heavy we've seen now. Yeah, I wonder that as well. And I think, again, it's one of those things I referred to it earlier. So you watch your first one be a foot or two heavy, and you think, okay, i got to take two feet off that. But now, since then, there's been another rock thrown down there, so the path has also sped up a foot or two. So really, you need to take off four or five feet when you're thinking one or two. And I think that's maybe what's getting right in here. It, it just seems to be getting eight. faster and straighter with every rock they throw up right. to the button. We'll just straight. Make any contact with the five, I think you're getting shot. Right. Because you're going to be that. spinning up. Or you straight draw. That's all I see. I agree. Let's try and make that right into that, I guess. Eh? Even if you go into the four, four it's pretty yeah. good. Agreed. At this point, I'll give him steal a one. Yeah. What's that? Out? Oh. Uh, in? Let me look. Out turns good. Out? Oh. Yeah. So we haven't really seen one of these from John Epping yet this game, Chelsea, but I think most uh, most Pick curlers half. would say this is sort of John's wheelhouse here, the the big shot in a in a big situation. Yeah, we haven't seen him throw a big weight one yet, but he has made a few to bail the team out, and certainly they need it right now. So a huge shot here for John Epping in the seventh. Yep. Yep. Needs this one to get towards the center, but just, just over curls. And it is still Kleider sitting one, although maybe that minimizes the damage a little bit. They got caught in between there a little bit. If that if that actually curls a little bit more, they could have come off that side uh, red and back up kind of around the horn into the rock on the button. But they were playing the straight roll into shot rock there, so overcurled a little bit for plan A. Just be ready for it to come in. Yeah. It'll be nice. That looks perfect. Get to the pin here. Just get to the button here, Teach. Definitely looks better than it did before John threw, but yep. if Ryland can make this one nice, to the top of the button, like he was saying, then it's going to be really tough for John Epping to score. And not only that, it's going to be really tough to only give up a steal of one. They wouldn't be terribly sad at this point to give up a steal of one and be two down coming home, but uh, it's going to be tough to do that and not give up a steal of two if this one's made the way they're hoping it will be. Yeah, I mean, I think even if you're a Clyder, there's almost no danger in moving that yellow one back a little bit and sitting four. So we'll see what happens here, but certainly a crucial shot here for Ryland Clyder, his last in the seventh. Line's good. Not much add. Line's good. And a huge right chance now, to apply Maddie. some pressure to John Epping. Room right now. Whoa, Close, Okay, hey, line's good. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, then. Curling hard. No, no bounce, guys. It's about a curl a mile, so. Okay, good. And I dare say, Chelsea, that's probably good enough. Yeah, I don't know that. I think there's a chance that John Epping can make this shot for one if he can get across the face of that, but um, not, not bad at all. They would have liked that to stop a little sooner or curl a little bit more or both. Uh, in a perfect world, but really tough shot here for John Epping. Maybe possible. Yeah, you can see there that that red okay, guard is so tight to the house. Yeah, and it's just not finishing like crazy here. It's no. curling, but it's not going nuts, so it's going to be really tough for. I, I think what you'll probably see is as soon as this gets by that red guard, is Pat Jansen carving it as much as he can to try to get it into that center line area. So he's bailed them out a few times before, but this would be the biggest bail ahead, of them Pat. all. Pat. Facing two. And this needs to uh, curl a it's okay, Pat. It's mile. Okay. You're not gonna get her. You ain't gonna get her. No, that is just a little high and a little wide. And Ryland Kleider will steal two in the seventh end, and so it's going to be the boys from Saskatchewan up three 
in the eighth. We'll see if Epping can pull off a huge comeback when we come back. You're watching Curling Live. Hey guys, Stu here again and I'm having a crazy day because in the morning I was in the east end and now I've zipped across the city to the west end and I'm in the Junction Triangle and we are bringing another spectacular semi to market. And this one is super cool because you know what? It's three gorgeous, stunning units. So you know what? You want to live in one and you want to collect a bunch of rent from the other two, pay your mortgage. It's an amazing investment. Each apartment's been totally done. Brand new kitchens, appliances, gorgeous wood floors. They've done all the work. They dug around the basement, waterproof at sump pump, paved a new driveway, new windows, new roof. It is an unbelievable investment. And it's a great location right in the Junction Triangle. Lots of cool little funky shops and cafes on a net. And then you just hop over to DuPont and Dundas and you're in the Junction, the coolest area in the city. You're close to High Park, Bloor West, Transit, the Up Express downtown, Black Cape Drive, Stockyards. It's an unreal location, great investment. So go to stewsells.ca, see all the pictures, video tours and videos and give me a call. Hello, curling fans. Welcome back. It is the eighth end of our first draw here in Okotoks. It's the ATB Financial Okotoks Curling Classic. John Cullen alongside Chelsea Carey. It's been a very close game for most of it, but in the seventh end, Ryland Kleider with a huge steal of two and Chelsea down three with the hammer. What's John Epping got to do here to find his way back into this game? They are going to have to make eight perfect shots and hope for a couple misses from Team Clyder. You don't, uh, it's hard to generate that many points by yourself without the other team helping you out a little bit, but you better make eight really good ones and, and then hope you get uh, some breaks. A little less. A little less. So we see Scott Chadwick looking to put up the second corner guard, and we have our first final of the day. Speaking of the winner of this game, we know now that they will move on to play Reed Carruthers as they were big winners over Okotoks's Jacob Libis. And we will be back at 4 p.m. Mountain Time. That's local time here in Alberta. So in, by the time this broadcast is over, really in about an hour's time after <laughs> it ends, uh, Chelsea and myself will be back. We'll have Team Brendan Botcher making their first appearance of the season. They were winners this morning, and so we'll have a quarterfinal action for you. Or sorry, rather, a semifinal action for you between uh, Team Brendan Botcher and Team Kyler Kleibrink, also a new team. Kyler taking the, taking the reins. He threw fourth uh, off and on last year for his longtime team with Jeremy Hardy, and this year has uh, fully decided to take over the tee head and won this morning, so should be a good one. We'll be back here on, on Curling Live's YouTube channel at that point. I got a 15-3. That's what I'm seeing. Make it. So big shot here, I think, for Pat Jansen. The Clyder already having three in the house, but one behind the T-line, so a chance to make a freeze here. Yeah, not... Uh Again, it looks, it's one of those situations that looks good for you if you're Ryland Kleider, but those two staggered reds yep. act as a guard here, which is why you're seeing John Epping try to use yep. that. You make yep. this good, it'll take Kleider two shots Whoa. to get to your rock, and Little in the bounce, meantime, John. you could draw around one of your corners, you could play another freeze. Whoa. Yeah, this only looks like a good setup Whoa. if you're... Uh, or sorry, this only looks like a good setup for Kleider unless you're Marcel right. Rock. And then it looks like a very scary setup. <laughs> It's a reference to the 2004 yep. Briar final. One of my faves. 
has a situation very much like that. Yeah, true. This, 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 this is really, this is, this is a good call. Uh, as much as you can. So Afrock. this is the advantage here for Kleider that Jansen was just a little heavy. So on this too. it's going to give Trevor Johnson a chance to make an angle run back. And even if he doesn't make it, Chelsea, it gets rid of that stagger, which yeah. we said is, is a problem right now. I think it's hard to make it and not make contact with the yellow. But yeah, biggest biggest thing here for Team Kleider isn't moving that yellow rock. It's getting rid of the stagger, to your point. So like to make some noise on a red here at minimum. And won't, unfortunately, for Trevor Johnson. Yeah. So again, we talk about you know you're you you're always trying one. to make every shot, but there's often there's a good way to miss and a bad way to miss, and that was the bad way to miss. If you overcurl yeah. that and hit the top one, kill both those reds, it's fine. the The only thing you really couldn't do there was was go by everything. And we have another final over on sheet six. You might see the, the rocks moving down beside us here on the stream, but it was uh, Team Horgan. Yeah. Victors over Team Yusuke Morizumi. So Horgan will move on into the A draw and Morizumi will drop. Top 12 short. It's digging hard. Foster. And Matt Cam now owes me $20. <laughs> the big 2-0. Pat Jansen just coming up a little light, and so... Another opportunity here yeah. for Team Kleider to get what themselves out of trouble, throwing? Chelsea. Yeah, it's a little bit of a I don't want it, you take it kind of a situation between these two teams right now. The reality is Ryan Cle Ryland Kleider would have likely been playing this shot regardless, but to not have that uh, yellow stone Please. in there puts John Epping in pretty whoa. big trouble now. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Still falling a bit. Good, Jay. And Josh Mattern will get the job done. Gets rid of the stagger and gets one of those rocks off the forefoot. So, a very nice shot there from from Josh. But Chelsea, I mean, I don't think it's over for Epping here. He's got a couple corner guards up and some rocks behind the T line. Definitely not over, but uh, again, needing some misses. You go around this, he's going to peel something, and, and then it becomes a question of how do you set up your three points from there. So, it's the same speed as what I threw here. <laughs> and make sure you stay tuned, Curling Live. We're going to be doing post-game interviews. We didn't do any of those last year aside from after the final, but this time around we're going to be doing it after every draw. So you're going to hear from the winning skip as soon as this game's over. So when the game's over, make sure you stay locked, and we'll have uh, a short chat with the winning skip when the game's finished. Curl if you can. Here, I'll go. I'll go for you. So I don't think they got fully buried there. And if Joshua Mattern can get rid of this, then Epping's going to have to find a way to make their last three rocks count. Need to get this hard, by the corner guard. Hard. And they will not. Although not terrible to kill that back one. <laughs> no, and move the corner guard over a little bit. Yeah. So not great, but could have been a lot worse. Yeah, as a third, that's one you always hate to miss because you know if you make that, the game's probably over. Whereas now it's... There's a, a little bit more life. There's a there's glimmer. A, there's a, a glimmer, glimmer of hope. A glimmer of hope, yep. A couple feet more, I thought. So Matt, Matt Cam going to try to draw this yeah. one around the corner Whoa, guards yeah. again. Top eight. And we have yet another Whoa. final. Yellow has been, uh, has been good money here. Yep. Aaron Slichinski defeating Whoa. Eve Stalker. This is currently the only sheet where Red's in the lead. Great shot. Really good shot from Matt Cam. Gets that fully buried, and so 
Riley and Clyde are just going to try and get rid of one of these yeah, yellows. Yeah. Even no, I don't think nose is crazy, but we don't want to play hard for nose. Nice 11 here, fellas. Just a little hit and walk to the middle. Mine won't go as hard. Oh, fellas, you're off the six. That was me, but so. It shouldn't curl quite as hard. Boys, just nice 11. Let's make it. Clean. Clean. So Rylan Kleider's Clean. first. Clean. Here in the eighth end, Clean. he's up three. Whoa. Just yeah. looking to get a yellow out of the way here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Watch the roll, guys. And he will do just that. So it is Kleider lying two here. It's a pretty good spot. Makes the double tough. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. And yeah. You probably have to throw pretty hard to get on top of it, John. I think. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. Just wondering if I can roll soft, low. Soft underneath. Yeah. That's the other option. Yeah, I like that one. Soft. Yeah, go into here. You like that? Yep. And then make, I do. Him, make him make the draw. Well, he's going to have to put it somewhere precise. Exactly. Okay. Hack. Kind of wait, hack the board. Hack? Hack. Okay. You're hitting. Uh, Just a quarter. Yeah, a quarter ish. So, John Epping, they talked about trying to make Maybe the double more and that roll. Should be okay, but right? You want a little more? I think this ice is Maybe good. In order to do both Sorry. of those things, you'd have like to throw board. an absolute okay. bomb um, to get hack. it to roll that good far because you have to hit board. it pretty close to the Solid nose to make the double. So, they've decided to play a soft weight hit and roll, get this buried behind the corner guard, sit second shot and third shot and put some pressure on Ryland Clyder. He's gonna have to draw somewhere in the house where there's no double or make a perfect guard or make some decisions. Yep. <laughs> whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. This yellow has to stick around. And that's a really nice shot from John Epping. They're now lying second and third, completely buried. A little bit lucky. If they hit that any thinner, it would have gone by everything and probably rolled out. Caught just the back edge of that uh, yellow rock that was already buried there, top eight foot. It does leave Ryland the opportunity to freeze, but again, he's got to put it in a good place where John doesn't have a double off that shot stone on the button. You guys like this side better? Thank you. A anywhere here is good. Yeah, because yeah, Josh, you can be here even. You can be there right, and it's still good. Right, count that even. Yeah. Okay, let's do it, bud. Okay, so is this what you like too, Chelsea? Time. Just trying to sit two somewhere over in that like, pile? Yeah, I think it's probably your easiest option. You could sit two anywhere you want. You could go to the other wing, go but crazy because of all those rocks back there, it brings some jam possibilities into minimum, play. Yeah, maybe you could take freeze just to this back one. You could just be shot stone, almost corner frozen to the top one, sort of dead beside the top go, one is pretty go good. You've got guys, more one. options on this side than you do on the other side, I, I think, for good yeah. places to leave this rock. Was his? Okay. Or was Nats? Okay. I think, yeah, if anything higher than whole game. Let's make it. 50-55. Good. Mine's good. Go close. Room, 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 room. Trevor's Rock. Trevor's Rock can't don't want to hold that straight. Room. Boys, tons of room. So final stone here, Wait, Ryland Kleider. What does Wait that mean? Needs to find second shot. Does go, not want to set up a double for John Epping. Mile to go. Yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 yep. go, go, go. Whoa, 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 whoa. And I do think there is a double there. Maybe it's okay. It's not easy, but I think it's there, Chelsea. It's definitely there, and I think actually if you hit it, it's it's the hard part is sticking your shooter, but it might come up into this red anyway. So it's almost it might almost act like a catcher here for John Epping, as long as his shooter doesn't touch the yellow on the way by.
top. Normal. How do you stay with this red? So big shot here for John Epping. For most of this end, it did not look like he was going to have a chance to tie this up, but he certainly does. Normal weight, thin double, 4-3 to send this to an extra end. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Whoa. This is yep. close. Whoa. This is close. Yep. And he has it. What a <laughs> shot from John Epping. <laughs> Fantastic touch. Makes Ryland Kleider pay for just the slightest of misses on his last one. And we are going to an extra end. My goodness. What a shot from John Epping. 6-6. Six, six. We're going to an extra. We'll see you back here after that. Welcome back, folks. Extra end coverage here from Okotoks. John Cullen, Chelsea Carey, curling live. We are here. It is the opening game for Ryland Kleider and John Epping. And Chelsea, it looked for almost all of the eighth end like Ryland Kleider was going to be home and free, but just a, a couple narrow misses and then an absolute beauty from John Epping on his last to tie it up at six. Yeah, you don't want to leave uh, John Epping, an intern, to bail himself out. And unfortunately for Ryland Kleider, that's exactly what happened. And John makes an absolute pistol. To get the three to tie the game, the bad news for Team Epping is the first tick was made pretty well. Second one coming up here. So they're not going to have a lot to hide behind if this is made similar to how that first one was. Yeah, Matthew Tylen, I think, would probably admit this hasn't been his, his best game today. He certainly hasn't played horrible or anything like that but he's had a few shots I'm sure he would like back and so if he can make both these ticks here I know that'll that'll help him feel pretty good when this is over Josh Mattern's gonna need to bring this over this is currently missing and it does indeed float just by so one tick made but one long guard here for Epping And we've got a tight game over on sheet one. We had another couple finishes. Uh, Colton Flash 
winners over Rob Nobert and Aaron Sluchinski over Eve Stalker. So it's just our game and Kevin Cooey playing against Ryan Perrant. And uh, Perrant made an amazing shot with his last one to score three in the seventh. So they're currently leading Kevin Cooey 6-5. Cooey has the hammer playing eight. We'll try to keep you updated on that. Alongside our extra end coverage here. Over curl of anything, but okay. that's actually line's good. Okay. Line's good. Four. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Full four. Oh, oh, oh. Full four. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Throw a pat. So nice shot there from Pat Jansen, and now we will see Trevor Johnson get rid of uh, some guards here. Ideally, get both. I think Played. he could. Played close for the double. Really close. Good and job. he will Good stick shot. it, unfortunately, but still a nice shot to get rid of both yellows. And Pat Jansen makes no mistake. Clean. Yep. 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 Looks like they're looking at the run back here. Nice shot, Trevor. And That's Trevor good. Johnson will make it. Good shot. Real good. Not Little the way surprised. they'd initially drawn it up. Yeah. They were playing it across the face uh, for Pat Jensen. His guard overcurled just a tiny little bit and left an angle. So that overcurled for Team Clyder, but the result uh, is almost as good. What they would have liked about hitting that on the high side is that that guard would have been a little bit covering a little bit less of the forefoot. But at least now it's a red guard that you're running back in, and uh, John Epping doesn't have much choice at this point but to get a rock in there for shot stone. Wait only. Easy. Just put it on the tee. So okay, again, we will be tee. back in about one hour's time. This extra whoa, whoa. end is uh, making our our break a little tighter, but ahead, uh, we'll be back at 4 p.m. Yep. local time. Yep. Brendan Botcher against Hearts Kyler Kleibrink yep, yep. here going. on Curling yep, Live. And we'll be back again at 7.30 tonight local time as well. We'll have coverage of pretty much every draw here this weekend. We'll only be missing uh, Friday and Saturday morning's draws. Otherwise, we'll be here with you for the rest. And stay tuned after the game for a little post-game interview with the winning skip. Yep, yep, yep. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, great throw, Jared. And Joshua Mattern just misses getting that yellow, and so... Now for John Epping, you know, Chelsea, it's uh, looking like they're at least going to force Kleider into uh, a difficult shot with his last. Or, or maybe not difficult, but he's probably going to have to make a draw of some significance. Yeah, the, the good news or the bad news for Team Kleider, the good news for Team Epping is that that, sh that shooter, that red rock there just below the ATB logo actually takes away your oh, outturn draw or Whoa. at least makes it more difficult. Whoa. So like um, they've Whoa. thrown the intern more this game. You'd think that that would be what Ryland Kleider would choose if he got... Whoa to pick at the start of the end, yeah, but still, stop. it's one less option. Um, oh so, it's not over yet. Go ahead. Go ahead, Scott. Go yeah, ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hard. Yep, keep it going. Yeah, that's a good, that's good. So, we'll see if Josh can get a few rocks moving here. Only 
one will move, so. And your outturn drop, or your sorry, your intern draw path just got a little bit tighter as well, so. That's not not the way Clyder yeah, would have right drawn this up, that's yeah. for sure. Over on sheet one, Tyler Tardy just made an absolute bomb of a triple, maybe about a six second yeah. peel weight down the ice. Got rid of all the Perrant stones in the house. So it's Kevin Cooey currently sitting four. They're down one with the hammer playing eight. Line's good. So John Epping just looking to replace the guard here. Easy early. It's gonna be Scott. You can go, Scott. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Would love to get this over a little bit, and that will, I wow. believe, do the job. It does, but deeper than they would have liked. They had to sweep that to get the line there, but uh, in a perfect world, probably want that, sort of even with that uh, the red guard on the right as you look at it on your screen will give Rylan Clater an opportunity to play the run if he chooses to. Could get both and roll the shooter away. Well, it's either going to be a double then or the, okay. or the draw, right? Yeah. Unless it's worth the run at it. Well, the thing is, your shooter's going to be here. Yeah. So I think yeah, it's tough to roll it big. Yeah. Yeah. Let's just rip it. So they've decided on the straight peel. Talked about running just it back it. into that other yellow, but don't think they can roll their shooter far enough for it to be that good of a result. So just going to straight peel this. I imagine you'll see John put this back in a similar position if he makes this shot. Just a nice peel here. Yeah, I think this is this is the call. Just you can never get yourself day. into a situation where you Other just way. miss the peel and leave yep. your red out front. Well, and if you and you could dead stuff it's it and leave it. your red your red rock as a better center guard. So definitely yeah. the smart call here, but could be a tricky last shot for Ryland Clyder. Yep. Clean. Clean. So Clyder makes no mistake, and as you said, Chelsea, I think we'll look to see John put his rock in, in a close close spot. Maybe a little bit higher, I would imagine, might make the draw path a little more complicated. I actually think higher makes the draw path easier, potentially. Okay. I think if you put it right where it was, he's got a hard time getting, because it's the rock's got more time to curl coming in there, right? So um, I don't think you want this in the house to the point where you let Rylan Clyder throw the double and be in the rings, but I think you wouldn't mind it being almost like biting the 12 foot's okay. A little higher wouldn't hurt you. Anywhere in that tight guard range, and you're going to make uh, make Rylan think a little bit about his last one. Air wider line. Okay. Okay, no then. This is Just hanging. Bite. Line's good. Yeah, the sweepers think it's all there. Right where my broom yeah, is. Yeah, it looks like can. a bit of a wider line than his last one. Line's good. It's never Scott. It's Pat. They're gonna line's Just nibble, Pat. Okay, now Just line's nibble. getting better. Okay. No, leave it there. Going to overcurl a little bit. It's good. Little, good, John. Little deep. And Rylan Clyder will right have here. a draw to the button for the win. Just needs to bite the button here. That looks really good. Yep. Can maybe get away with edge. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Okay. Is that 50-55? I'd say just be ready across the middle a bit too, but it should be. Should, should run nice. Hearing them saying 50-55, that's what Ryland's been throwing, so he should All right, boys, 50, 50, have a pretty good idea yeah. of what that feels like. Yeah, the ice, the draw weight's been consistent all game. No question about that. We'll see if Rylan Kleider can stay consistent here. Final stone needs a piece of the button for the win. Oh, not much add. Line's, line. Line's good, boys. It's all Line's you. Both. All you. Room. Room. Close room. line. Close for line. Yep. Sweepers Whoa. haven't really touched Close it. Close for line. Whoa. You got backing. Whoa. Yep, but it yep, does yep. look like Warn. it's curling towards Warn. that yellow. They got to get by the top. And they will not. That just snapped at the end. The sweepers lost it. And John Epping takes three in the eighth end and steals the extra for the victory by the skin of his teeth. My goodness. What a turn of events. 
Good game. Good luck. Good game. Good luck. So John Epping will move on to play Reed Carruthers tonight at 7.30. As for us, we'll be back here in an hour. Brendan Botcher, Kyler Kleibrink, and stay tuned after this commercial break. We'll hear some final th thoughts from John Epping. Oh. We're in. Hey, everybody. John Cullen here with the winning skip, John Epping. And, uh, John, I mean, crazy. Last, last two ends, <laughs> four points to win the game. Talk to me a little bit about how the eight shaped up because you ended up having to make a really tough shot on your last one. Yeah, and I mean, any time that uh, you're down three and you can you have a shot to tie the game, uh, you'll take it. And, uh, yeah, we got some rocks in play, and, and uh, his, his last one just went uh, a couple inches too far, and that kind of left me the, 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 thin, the thin Hackner double. <laughs> yeah, and you made it great. I mean, we were saying behind the glass, you probably loved seeing an intern hit on your last one for, for that shot to make it for three. Totally, and, and we had seen a lot in that path, and, and we knew that spot pretty well. And, uh, yeah, and, and a good line call by Matt to make it. And you pulled it out the eighth end, or sorry, the ninth end as well. You played great. You were in. You sort of were in shape, putting pressure on them the whole end. Your last one, it seemed like it maybe slid a little too far. You wanted that a little higher, but in the end, worked out. Yeah, you know what? Have to make them. Uh, you know, hit almost hit a piece of the button. That's uh, that's all you can ask for. Yeah, absolutely. So you got Reed Carruthers coming up tonight. Uh, tell me a little bit about about what you're expecting out of them. Ah, uh, good play, and it's fun to play a new lineup, right? So many new lineups out there this year, and and I always love playing Reader and Gunner, and uh, it'll be uh, it'll be great to see what uh, what they throw at us tonight. Awesome. Well, congratulations on the big win. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll be back in an hour. Brendan Botcher against Kyler Kleibrink. And then, uh, you know, we'll just be here the rest of the weekend, too. Congratulations again, John. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. We'll see you back here soon. Bye. Pay your mortgage. It's an amazing investment. 
Each apartment's been totally done. Brand new kitchens, appliances, gorgeous wood floors. They've done all the work. They dug around the basement, waterproof at sump pump, paved a new driveway, new windows, new roof. It is an unbelievable investment. And it's a great location right in the Junction Triangle. Lots of cool little funky shops and cafes on Annette. And then you just hop over to DuPont and Dundas and you're in the Junction, the coolest area in the city. You're close to High Park, Bloor West, Transit, the Up Express downtown, Blackheath Drive, Stockyards. It's an unreal location, great investment. So go to StuSales.ca, see all the pictures, video tours, and videos, and give me a call.